What is going on, everybody? And Merry Christmas. Welcome to the East Coast Conference. It is Championship Sunday, not just for Smash, but for Overwatch as well. And we're kicking it off right here on the desk. I'm Cadnator. That's Septilence. We about to take you through it. We absolutely are. We are in the grand finals. Like Kat just mentioned, this will be a 3v3 crew battle best of five scenario. So we will most likely see all of these players anywhere between three and five times, of course, depending on how large their rosters are. The Uvil versus NYIT and NYIT, a team I have seen a couple of times, a very strong one. And if I'm getting, getting a little bit of recency bias here, the mm -hmm. team I do expect to win. This team went head to head with the Uvil in week two and two owed them there. Mm. They just run it down again here in Grand Finals. This could be a 3-0 victory, but perhaps Duyuville has learned the matchups. Perhaps they've learned the game, and they're ready to come out swinging just a little bit harder here in these Grand Finals. Uh, well, you mentioned the fact that, right, looking at best of five, it's an extra game. You know what yep. I mean? Like, you can't 2-0 them here. It's, it's impossible. This can't be done. So does, does that make a difference? You know what I'm saying? That, that'll be the thing. Duyuville's actually got a second team in Finals as well. We'll see them later in the show for Overwatch as well. So the fact that... Uh, they got, they got the big guns, speaks to the program, you know, maybe the advantage of the fact that they've got multiple rosters pushing themselves forward. But Zeppelins, when we look at this matchup going forward, right, look at the game of Smash, look at crew battles, what are we looking out for specifically? What will give teams the edge? We're definitely looking for matchup knowledge of your opponents. We've seen these teams, you know, we talked about week two. They've gone head to head. They've gone toe to toe. They've seen each mm -hmm. other, the characters they want to play. And hopefully you've got a, a primary or a secondary character that can right. counter them accordingly. If you bring out Ganondorf against somebody's villager, you're getting smoked, right? You need to have the proper counters online. You need to have the proper picks available for these characters to get the success they need. If you get outplayed simply due to a counter pick, it's not going to end up well. So I'm looking a sure. lot at Duyuville over NYIT. I know NYIT can do well. I know they can overperform. I'm looking at Duyuville. Did they did you do their homework? The joke <laughs> failed, but the point stands. I like Did that. the homework like, get done? Like what happened there? Did, did they kind of put in the work? Did they put in the numbers? They've made it mm -hmm. to grand finals, but they've got to win grand finals right. against NYIT. That is a huge ask. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Before we jump into this one, as we do get the selections going, for uh, what will be our first crew battle of the day. Septilins, who's, who's your favorite character, bro? Oh, well, I'm an Olimar player, and that's, like, controversial always. <laughs> I, I love Olimar. He's a whole lot of fun. He's a very fun character, and I get, I get, a lot, I get away with a lot because people okay. aren't at home practicing their Olimar matchups. So when Real. I roll up with my boy Alf on the field, like, people usually panic a little bit, and I can get some pretty disgusting combos. But if I'm not playing yeah. Olimar, usually playing Pac-Man. So I'm, I'm all about those oh, projectiles, okay. all about those throwables, all about those combos. It's a lot of fun. Okay. I mean, you, cat? hot you on the mic, the gotta bring out the, uh, bring out the fire. Uh, man, look, don't, don't laugh, okay? I play Olimar. Don't laugh. There's so little no, you can say. No, no, there is, there is, there is. Uh, that's the thing. So when we look at like Smash Ultimate specifically, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm playing Puff, bro. Oh, <laughs> I'm, not, no, I'm down. I'm playing Puff, I'm down. bro. You're down. You're actually down. I'm down. I'm a Puff okay. believer, bro. Appreciate I think it. Puff's it. a fantastic character. I think she's a lot of fun to play, and she's she's one that gets flashy. And that, those are my favorite characters—the ones that can get those insane flashy combos. Part of the reason I play Pack. I, I got the gamer sleep schedule, so you know, whenever I can rest, it is a good time for me. Amen. You know what I mean, amen. Start on FD. Fascinating. That that kind of hints early on. I'll be honest. I, I don't know these rosters super well. I don't know exactly who's going to be bringing what to the table, but that indicates mm -hmm. a little bit of information. I think we might be seeing some variety of projectile character. I think this can work very well for characters like your Simons and your Richters, like your Tuner Young Links, like your King K Rules. There's a lot that can be done, like your Pac Man. I didn't really get the chance to say it, mm -hmm. but this can work out super well for Pac Man. However, we've got to keep an eye on the rushdown composition from Captain Falcon. If he comes out and doesn't let Pac breathe, this can be an easy mm -hmm. win for him. But if he gives Pac at one, we lost just as easily. This is essentially the coin flip of Captain Falcon. Yeah, you can hold your Falcon, Falcon too. You really can start the combo in the air pretty quickly. So you think that opportunity already though. Fight breaks down for central stage. No real, uh, no real advantage just yet. Just find our way out of neutral. A bit of a feeling out process, I'd say, but should be a little faster ongoing. I'd say even like before this first crew battle really gets through. Is the fact that these schools have seen each other and I've played against one another before. Yeah, they have gone head-to-head and toe-to-toe many times beforehand, but it looks like this Pac-Man is going to try to establish an early combo. One of Pac-Man's largest issues is, of course, finding the kill confirmed. Sure, he can rack up damage, but getting the elimination, getting the stock off the table Ooh. is usually the hard part. Misses the Hydrant early. The Barry's not going to have the proper arc for the recovery. Gets Falcon up and off that ledge. There's another B neutral charge, and I think we're going to see, yep, a little bit of that offstage gameplay. Falcon can do well on ledge and in center stage, but if you get him offstage, Pac should have a little bit of success against him. 
Oh, there's nothing to be seen right now. Getting baited absolutely right now. Omen just bringing CPU into him. Having full advantage on it right now. Back to the ledge. Looking for opportunity. I do like the fact that they'll sit here. Recognize the fact that they, you want to trap your pack. But it won't give well. Never mind. Said it too soon. Uh, gets absolutely smosted on. Thrown out. And uh, that's first stock gone. Yeah, and if you're unfamiliar with the format of crew battles, even if Omen does win this and go into the next game, they will only have those two stocks. You keep the three stocks you have, and if you lose any but still win, you just carry that many into the following matchup. You might be seeing that here, but it looks like both these players are going to lose at least one CPU from the Uville would have to give us quite a miracle run to take the two remaining stocks without losing one of their own. The down special comes out early from Omen. It's got a pretty aggressive read from CPU. I'll take it low off stage once again, but you need to avoid the two frame. The roll-up attack comes out. The oh. shock is there, the forward air not the safest option not gonna find a stock with that forward air slow burn melee comes out dash attack punished early by omen who's 71 percent on their second stock right now even if cpu does lose this first stock they are feeling very comfortable oh comfortable there indeed is. well uh we'll shake it up just a bit that's that first stock loss as you mentioned so it'll be a two and two percentage not gonna be as evened up though 70 percent acquired for omen by the time they're able to wipe that stock Plenty of time to catch this one back up, and of course a crew battle. So the more you can take, the better. Gonna be off stage now, though. Looking for the legend. Oh my goodness! Let's him know about it. Off the stage, nice. we'll recover. Very clean. 130 left to work with here when it comes to the percentage. But off stage yet again. That off stage gameplay should be working well, but Omen's been able to recover twice now. Just barely. Oh. Last couple of frames, grab the ledge. I like the dash attack through the fire hydrant and separating CPU from that the hydrant barely? is huge. A lot of the combo gets interrupted, and Captain Falcon offstage presence once again reads oh! the side special like a book in Omen, showing us why and why she deserves to be in these grand finals. Unlucky timing for CPU as that forward smash is not able to find purchase. 162, but Omen has officially taken the lead, and oh, never mind. I thought it was an episode of Haiku the way he just spiked him, but uh, end of the day, it's one and one with these stocks left going down to the wire here. And what is the first matchup? of our first battle percentage acquired early looking a lot like that beginning of the game that fight for the neutral fact we're not quite able to find anything we'll go back towards the edge of the ledge the edge of the ledge is a place captain falcon loves to see their opponents if cpu can reclaim that center stage presence that can be a big move for the player to continue moving forward the melon combo comes out early the orange combo and now the side special in the knee gonna right. be whiffed as the double jump comes out early fire hydrant into forward smash grab into i assume up air into oh, oh i assume forward air but instead of the double up air to deal additional damage both these players down to only a single stock cat so incredibly back and forth across the board the back air not gonna find a kill that far from ledge grab into i assume Good back throw a side special could go crazy there but it runs the insane risk of getting your own stock up in the process and neither player wants to do that right a real chance here to get a little early chip damage we're able to keep this stock going so a big final moment here in this one back we'll head off the stage plenty of time to recover but where do you decide Ooh. to go is able to put the falcon off ledge fortunate first look isn't going to be there we'll head out of shield the pummel and back off that stage Back off the stage oh. and into the forward smash. CPU will be able, with the skin of their absolute teeth, be able to win out that matchup. One that, if we're being honest, should have been a little easier for the Pac-Man. But a win but. is a win regardless. You've got that one stock. You're moving on to the second fight, and you put your team in what is currently a winning position. The real win condition cat mm -hmm. is finding even just one stock before losing your last one because you've kept that lead for your team. Yeah, pretty close right now. Seven to six. But uh, you mentioned the fact that this extra stock, you're able to jump into this one, even taking just one, right? We'll yeah. lead that early advantage here when we look at this crew battle. Pretty close. Also, a chance to counter pick now into what is the Pac Man. Do you. What's that? You know what? I'll ask you this way, Seb. So, you're looking at the Pac Man, right? Yeah. You're looking at the counter pick coming back in for NYIT. What would you like to see them play here as a chance to oppress? I think, you know, you can't bring out any heavy hitters, any combo food, no Donkey Kongs, no K rules. Uh, Little Mac's going to get smoked because he can't play off stage. I just thinking maybe a, a counter projectile young link could be beneficial Pikachu could do really well with those uh, volt charges snake could do really well here as well if you kind of get up close a lot of the up tilt can sure, do sure. a lot of damage early on um Rob can work there's a lot of characters that can really get the job yeah, well, let's done. not say Rob you know what I mean <laughs> you're right you're let's right just, let's just uh, Shulk with the proper Monados, okay, Palutena great, with the Nair Train. Uh, she's got her Reflector as well to interrupt the Pac-Man uh, abilities and utilities. There's a lot that can be brought to the table here. The question sure. is, do they have the proper players that play those characters to get it done? You know, right. That's that's kind of right. an own an own battle in its own right. Right, and that makes it really interesting to watch crew battles. Like, 
where into especially this best of five we'll get a decent amount of opportunity to see uh different orders of yeah. the roster different players of the roster for some of these players because uh it runs pretty deep for some of the the collegiate smash teams so a chance to switch out entirely i get a chance to see like walking in maybe there's a better pac-man counter on your team uh maybe a player just looks better on whatever uh fighters they choose to play so a chance to actually be able to switch up as well i mean we'll see here for what will be our second look a chance to get up decently early if your cpu but that one did as you mentioned go pretty close pretty down to the wire for the most part yeah and it's interesting because i think pac-man can work really well on maps like final destination on stages like final destination but at the same time platforms can be incredibly beneficial for a pac-man player to set up those combos we saw a couple combos whiffed on fd that maybe wouldn't have been whiffed if a platform was there for you to jump off of there's a lot of variable play in that and while we haven't gotten confirmation on the stage you have confirmation on the player by the name of wolf from the side of nyit now of course that sets a belief pretty early on i can't remember if it's true but when your name is wolf that makes us assume you're probably going to be playing wolf sure sure uh the alternative to the falco could definitely be the case it does have the oppression right with the, the guns that come out in the neutral so yeah opportunity for it we'll see oh. go to yoshi's story cute little map happy little happy little map uh sure. for a while my local was banned uh back to the <laughs> table no just because like, literally every local people just scream about it like we'll see it we'll see it in the set list bro please yoshi's are you kidding me so uh hey you know good thing this isn't taking place in st louis true absolutely you know we don't we don't want yoshi's to be banned it's a stage that i really enjoy and it's a stage captain falcon really enjoys and i'm curious as to why maybe we didn't end up here earlier i think that would have been a really fascinating choice but we've gotten a little bit of confirmation from our producer and i don't want to jump the gun yet but rumor has it one of my favorite characters maybe entering the fray and the rumors are true oh Kat, this is a really fascinating matchup because piranha plant needs to be up close and personal i'm right. gonna guess the win condition is patui off stage trying to keep pack locked off stage the poison cloud into patui can get a lot done but if you play this incorrectly it can cost you the entire matchup even if pack only has one stock patui, patui. you know what i mean absolutely i mean hey, uh, we call it patui for a reason <laughs> what can you uh, put we'll with the patui Ooh, talk Ooh. to him. <laughs> Let him know. All right, well, we'll see. If Wolf can get out of this one, keeping the stock alive will be even mashed. And well, that is looking like the case early. The juggle to that initial platform caught by the fire hydrant. We'll get back to the ledge safely, though. Cut by a bit of down air action. Down air is going to find purchase. 70% already on the board. And that can be kill confirmed for Piranha Plant. A couple of ways here the down special, the uh, Batui itself or the back air but it looks like the back air is going to be a little tougher to catch however patui very easy to hitbox on that thing is absurdly large and the fire hydrant not far behind in terms of hitbox not many people would make it back from that recovery the pack one of the highest recoveries in the game on that third bounce the first two not so great a secondary patui catches the combo early 124 full rage pack off the board and if wolf can win this without losing a stock they've completely reset the game six to six two players to two players the combo comes out the jump follows through the forward air does not find purchase the grab oh, into i assume no. back air off stage into a b the orange goes out straight and the recovery is going to be caught down air taking him off stage but the recovery second attempt will find purchase on stage all right back off yet again cpu just needing realistically one stock here to have the advantage into this battle it's so very close 125 for each off the ledge yet again is going to be wolf recovers quickly we'll throw it to the sky oh. and the star ko will Whoa! wrap it up you hate to see it the di is so very funky close, on man. that one but a win is a win regardless and hey at least it's a quick one all of a sudden nyit have a loss no longer it's going to be tied up two to two six stocks to six stocks and this is where it can become anybody's game what we do know is wolf has to come back out you don't just swap out now wolf right. will play through their three stocks six to go but now it's the counter pick game already being returned yeah. to the side of duville it's you know okay now who do we play against plant the answer could be anybody literally plant is sure. not a very good character I do like the the fact that we still get the plan to sneak out. Like we don't get a direct uh, Pac-Man counter pick. Is the fact that you realize you've got to go back into what is going to be Wolf and what is going to be Wolf on this character. So yep. I assume with Wolf's comfortable on the plan. So the, the, the step to walk back into that, knowing that regardless if they lose that stock, they don't, they're going to have to walk into another set of three. Uh, also pretty convenient, the fact that they win it out without taking the stock either. So it comes down to the wire, 135, the difference in set up is that is that wolf 
Yeah, this is your well, no, Wolf has a different skin. I wish I had the pink skin piranha plant because that one's my favorite. But this is a piranha plant puppet I got with a gift card, and I think it's very a funny. gift card. I, liked it. I, give, I don't even use it often. Don't even want to buy it. I, it was it was twenty five real life dollars. I was that only was buying this with a gift card. I was only buying this with a gift card. Only twenty five. I don't I don't regret it because it's hilarious. And I get to, I don't get to bust it out often, but I'm, I'm glad I have it. It's very, it's very silly. I get to show my, my solidarity with the Piranha Plant players out there. Always, always a good laugh. I'm going to put him back though. I'm always afraid I'm going to break it and then I'll just be sad. But it'll be a $25 gift card I, I don't get back, so. Bro, if you break a puppet by using it as a puppet. It was never a good there, puppet to begin with. There are some question marks there. Wait, $25, it's got to be a good puppet. It's, it's, it's a nice puppet. I, I wish I could it's control cute. his little leaves with my fingers, but it's only I can only just do the mouth. So Aww. it's not it's not an advanced puppet. It's a novice puppet. But, you know, so I, I think I think we're seeing uh, wolf control piranha plant a little bit better than I can in that puppet form. At least it, it's been it's been fun because <laughs> piranha plant brings out a really unique kind of sense of character in, in the right of that plant has like four to six moves, I think. A lot less than a lot of other characters do. So you've got an incredibly small flow chart and you've got to really work uh -huh. some magic with it. And Wolf did a really good job with that. They didn't condition any Patooies. They used the Poison Cloud on a ledge. We didn't see the down special with the neck extension, which is like one of my favorite abilities that plant has. One that can get a mm -hmm. lot of insane picks. But, you know, we still got time. Wolf ain't gone yet. I'm sure we'll see it at least yeah. once. Yeah, a little bit of stage control with the gas. You know, uh, when it comes to like, have you ever flown like Southwest before? You know, like they, uh, they board kind of like at random like there's no like actual boarding groups sure. i use no, the gas personally that. to try to like clear out making sure i have like the the middle seat clear you know what i mean so yeah so i actually really uh emphasize with with plant like i kind of i have the same sort of aoe type <laughs> same you know, aoe style gameplay you know getting onto a plane yeah absolutely yeah. same yeah. same thing cat getting on a plane piranha plant plank smash it's it's essentially the same story it works I almost mean, every time like the middle seat's almost always open yeah, the middle seat is the worst Works seat really on the plane, well. I think. I'm, I'm yeah, a middle seat hater. Yeah, extra leg room, you know what I mean? Yeah, no, yeah, I like I like to... I, I don't mind being on the window, and I don't mind being on the aisle. Because I'm on the window, I can just put my head on the wall and sleep. And if I'm on the aisle, I can extend my legs a little bit. Okay. And I, I don't feel as cramped. So it's like a win-win. The middle seat's Weird the one. only one. that I'm like, oh, come on. Why's it, why's it got to be the middle seat? Okay. Then you got to sit, okay. sit there like this the whole time. All right, uh, yeah, you know how we do it on the plane. Uh, we'll do it on PS2 for this, uh, this next... Look at things. Big Pokemon guy. A lot of Pokemon cars in a Septilence's his shelf. So I'm, he's That's pretty happy about the stage. You can't well. see them. They're down there. They're, they're, they're down at the bottom. You can't see them. But yeah, this is a fun stage. This is a stage that everybody always says like, oh yeah, just gentlemen's to PS2 because it's totally like an equal stage, right? Yeah. Wrong. There are characters that get a lot of value on this stage, much more so than others. And K. Rool oh, can be one of them. Snap. However, we're looking at the kind of the Pac-Man principle of K. Rool is combo food. If he cannot get out of the way, he can get absolutely demolished in just the cleanest matchup we can imagine. But at the same time, if K. Rool can get himself in charge, find you off stage, a little bit of side special neutral B down air action. It can be just as quick in favor of K rule. Being baited right now. Yeah, bro, trying his hardest to get into the game. Trying and and begging. He's already picked too. Like I don't think he's allowed to like backpedal. I think you gotta commit to what, what what you've brought to the table. Okay, they're gone. I don't know what was going. Oh, I think they're on the wrong side. I think they wanted to be lined up with the uh, with the, oh, the overlay we have. What that a very, bunch that of. That was heroes. very kind of them. Yeah, that was. It's actually not possible for us to change it. So. Yeah, it's actually. Yes, totally not. not well. well, regardless, we'll change up the the fight here. Wolf now up against Noto. Even standings, as things are said, because Wolf was able to sneak away with 135 percent into the last fight. Perry comes down through off the ledge, an early advantage uh, for our pl oh, never mind. Yeah, K. Rule finds the grab, farms like 20 something percent on the table. It's a 13, actually, it's an 11 percent differential. Gonna be stacked 30 now. It's gonna be difficult for Wolf to get in, but once they can, it should be a little easier to find success. The Poison Cloud makes the space, they get the smash attack, and now they catch him off ledge. We are tied up 0.4 percent differential right now. The Poison Cloud caught out by the Nair into dash attack. This could be Wolf's time to shine. They can get the grab off stage. They can Ooh. go to a back throw down air scenario, but it's going to be grab down throw center stage three. Shield it out, and the hitbox is not going to be there long enough. Down smash comes out, and this is going to be into the ground. I assume the oh, up air to boot, oh. and it certainly will not be far behind. Very well done by Nato to run that classic K rule combo. Ooh. Yeah, man just snap cracked and caught him lacking. Wolf will be down the stock early, immediately slam back in the neutral stage, and has had a good go of things, picking and choosing where to take effect, but just. You know, just the fact that grab comes through, right? It's so much damage immediately coming from the K rule. So even though they've been so cautious, these little catches, these little mistakes have been devastating early. 
Yeah, without a doubt. And there's something I talked about earlier. I compared Piranha Plant to Pac-Man, and there's another way that, that can be very true. Both of them wow. very difficult to find traditional kill confirms on these characters. We, we see it happen a lot with, you know, you can only use the Batui or usually the back air. Same thing happens with Pac-Man. You can use the Fire Hydra or the back air. So they both have to chip a lot of damage onto the table. They have to commit, possibly overcommit many times just to find themselves in what could be a win condition, a, a killable position. However, uh, against a giant character like K. Rule, if you're not constantly comboing him, okay. he's probably going to take advantage of your overaggression. And I think Nato has been doing really well with that so far. 111. The up air should not take you down, at least not yet. But you should not be far from death either. This is a scenario they're not going to be comfortable to be in. And a second stock for Wolf off the table. That's so clear for my boy Nato, too, the way he Very phases true. that platform to come back and hit the up air on him. Like, uh, his gives him that comforting look, the cup of tea, you know, step on in my house. It's all good for our homies, and then hit him with the with the movement, the gap. Yeah. Hey, Rule, one of those characters where if somebody's still playing him, they're probably doing it for a reason. They, they've got a lot of value in this character, a lot of time put in, you know, in hours, labbing moves and combos. But right now, you know, I feel like Wolf is really struggling just due to the fact that Nato has an answer for a lot of oh. what Wolf can currently bring to the table including oh. that recovery, the footstool down oh. here, the two frame on ledge literally causes oh. us to lag for a second as Nato just cleans house there, loses one stock, takes three in the process, and now has put a really comfortable position for Duyuville. Bro, hit him with the belly, man. He did. Ooh, Lacking. hit him with the belly. Two stocks to walk out of it, too. And, well, we get things turned on their heads just a little bit. You know, I shout out to Wolf. You know, getting through uh, the previous fight, saving that stock. Unfortunately, could not save any of them going into this one. Just a, a run for their money with the likes of Nodo. Now to, to counter pick the K rule. Got to pick the K rule. There's a lot of characters that can work super well here, but it's always going to be that double-edged sword. I mean, I'm going to talk about that a lot. If you look at a character like, let's say, Squirtle, very small, is going to do super well when it comes to comboing K rule. But the second mm -hmm. you drop your combo... You're probably dead at 30. So you've got to run mm. the numbers on that. You've got to run what is the smarter option for the team to currently run. And I think they're going to probably bring out somebody a little sneakier like that. Maybe not PT, but somebody smaller. I think a Game & Watch would be insanely high what? risk, high reward. I think even a traditional Mario could work really well right now because the cape can be there to knock out the cannon ball, to knock out the crown, to disrupt a lot of the approaches that K. Rule wants to use. That could right. be the win condition for NYIT. But what we do got to talk about, Kat, NYIT's got huh? one player left. Yep. One player, three stocks. They're not stocks, also a you wanna... player, right? That's got to be... Cypher. Uh, you, you know, sometimes you just forget to switch. I yeah, mean, yeah. Sometimes you just forget that you can do that now. They went for the run back a little too fast, I Ooh, think. Ooh, the and, Percival and... steps out. My, uh, my good personal friend, Killer Miles, a big Percival fan. True. Uh, Miles really enjoys Percival. what he has to bring to the table. So if there's a man to uh, try to come white five stocks, I'm going to give it to the big Pete. Percival, the pressure's on for Scherzies. Oh, we're getting a bit, oh. of, a bit of leaked information here. Percival is going to go ahead and bust out the Kazuya. All right, man. One of the strongest characters in the game. Don't get me wrong, he's no Steve, but he is incredibly strong. And with, well, I mean, Kazuya's all combos, right? I mean, they might as well yeah. call him Kamboya. And against K. Rule, your hurt boxes are so unbelievably large. This could be a free yeah. two stock, but at the same time, a rule, it just brings out the gas a little bit. You find one stock, you've put your final teammate in a winning position. All right. So realistically, now down one stock into this one doesn't need too much. Even if you get one, you're giving the advantage to exactly. whoever the closer ends up being in this first fight. You mentioned the fact that Kazi's got so much presence in the stage control. The combo game goes crazy. What can Nato do about it? And can they get at least one stock knocked off the board here? And they get a stock off the board. The grab comes out quickly. 90% onto ledge. K. Rule, one of the highest vertical recoveries in the game. The two frame interrupted by the propeller as it sneaks through the ledge. 106. I love the utilization of the crown. It dismisses a lot of combos that K. Rule can even use. The grab into the crown off ledge once again. And this is just Kazuya being Kazuya right now. Going to go for the two frame. No, reads the propeller. Very intelligent. Already breaking their own traditional combos. And even doing it in slow motion. So we can really get a good read on what's going on. Grab into back throw. Neutral B comes out. Interrupts the cannonball. 174. Full Rage K. Rule just waiting to send you into that blast zone. Right now getting absolutely cutscened. Not able to grab him off here. We'll grab him on leg. Uh -oh. That could be it. There we go. The stock is taken. Takes a lot of work to do it, but it has been done. So the advantage will be there regardless. Renato, can they get a bit of extra sauce with another stock? 
Yeah, if they can find that second stock, I mean, hell, if they can find oh, all three, it could be huge, but they lose their second. They only have one remaining, and this is going to be a difficult situation for Nato to try and win out. However, you could be satisfied with your performance no yep. matter what happens next because you've set up that teammate for victory. Percival has to play from a constant deficit from here on out. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. The deflect into the cannonball, 80% online. Percival got Nato incredibly high in the percentile oh, last time, but couldn't follow through on the stock. Can we see the change? Here's the grab and a back throw off ledge. The neutral B comes out too early. Can't catch K rule. Both of the two frames going to be missed out there. The up special oh, the grab shield. Lift. The grab is time to shine. In the neutral stage, grabbed yet again, sent off. A 152. It's a 170 so hold early. before for Nato to take that. Now back to that 170 mark. And do they get it done oh. here? First we'll send them to the skies and we'll wrap up the fight there. We'll take down what is going to be the likes of the K rule. We'll move us into what is our final battle of crew battle number one. Our final bout of crew battle number one just around the corner here. We know it'll be Kazuya versus... Well, I don't know. Whoever they well, choose I mean, to bring out. Yeah, it's, yeah, choice, it's, really. This is this is tough because Kazuya is not one of those characters where I can insta be like, okay, counter is XYZ, you know, because whatever, whatever. Sure. Kazuya is very strong. He can play a mid stage, a close stage, and an off stage game. He's going to be a very difficult right. character to reply to. Now, my initial thought process, and maybe this is just kind of a caster moment, but I, huh? I do think bringing out like a Toon Link or a Young Link could be very beneficial. The constant peppering down of projectiles could make it impossible for Kazuya to land those grabs to land those cutscene grabs that we saw what feels like a hundred times over so maybe that could be your your primary win condition your, your sneaky opening to take down this Kazuya early because you've only got to do it twice true very true I mean heck man sometimes you just got to hit DLC with DLC like Steve. smack smack an additional Kazuya in there and just uh just get to work you know what I'm saying like you, sl you slug it out with a one stock advantage you should be expecting to win said one stock advantage you know what I mean very true. I mean, you've really been handed all of the proper pieces to succeed. It's going to be more mm -hmm. about what you can do with them than the fact you have them. You know, you can build right. a puzzle, but you got to put the pieces in the right order to figure out what that final picture is going to be. The picture has right. been painted right in front of you. You just got to stare at it long enough. You've just got to make sure you do the right thing. You find the proper inputs and you walk away with that success. It's a big if, Kat. It really, really is. Right. Most certainly. Most certainly. We get down to the wire here. Do you feel down the stock? NYT, the opportunity to walk back into this one. I think I think you were showing love to NYT on the uh, on the desk prior to getting started, Sept. If I, I was, you remember true. correctly, but where'd your pick go? I think you're, I tried. Hold on, hold on. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I, I promise you, I value you know your inputs and your thoughts. I promise you, I remember. I think. I think you said since it was the run back, do you will take it? I think that's what you said. I think. So. I don't Is that right? Think that's what I said. I don't. Think I, I swear. Have, I swear. You I said because I haven't back, seen. I haven't seen do so I wouldn't be comfortable okay. to give them that that, that okay. primary advantage. But what I do know is NYAT. I, I've seen them before. I believe they I'm were grand the finals. No, we got to roll the tapes. I, roll the we got to roll the tapes. Check it. Somebody check it. No, but I, I, know roll the tapes. I, I saw NYAT last year. I believe also in grand finals. I think it was Miles oh. on the desk, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I, probably, I think that's the last probably. time I've seen that team. And they won. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe it wasn't them, but no, I really feel like crazy. it was. I don't and think you're crazy. It's the pressure of being here again, making it two years in a row. That, that's insane. Uh -huh. But something that I, I meant to mention earlier and then it completely slipped my mind is, do you, Vil? Uh, you know, I don't believe they've made it to a grand finals before. And they're in two tonight. This and Overwatch directly sure. after this. So even sure. if, worst case scenario, even if both teams unfortunately have to walk away with a loss, two teams made it to grand finals. Like, that that's is pretty, pretty impressive. That is pretty yeah. insane. Yeah, I will say second place, the first loser. But uh, way better be the first loser than the last. Amen. That is, that's the words that I've lived by my entire life. Kat, are you very familiar with being a loser or not? Not often. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're very familiar, very familiar. You know, uh, back in my collegiate days, Seth there's there's a reason most people don't know I play collegiate. Oh, God. Let's yeah, you and me both, that. actually. Let's no, just we, say that. We don't talk about our collegiate <laughs> oh. days often, and that's probably for a reason. <laughs> 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 Oh, this is going to be fascinating. I really like Phantom's choice here. Now, I don't know if Phantom was just already a Bowser player, right? Like, we got the Jack Black skin on. But I, I really enjoy the fact they're going to bring out Bowser. The, 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 the statistics are there. You can take Kazuya out early. Bowser hits like a bus if given the opportunity. But the K-Rule principle still stands. That Bowser can definitely be combo food. 
And Kazi is showing us that early 3% differential off the board. The neutral comes out 20% now in favor of Phantom. The back there going to be whipped. Allows Kazi to get back onto stage. This might be Percival with their back against the wall. A very tough situation to be in. That just scared me real bad. But you made it back oh. up. You survived on the stage. You're over 100%. So you get that demon form on lock. And that should kill. No, Bowser too heavy. Smile. Well, shoulda, coulda, woulda. It will not. Both players will sit at a comfy little 110, little 112. Oh, Kazi is going to have the neutral stage advantage. The shell spin, though. Going to push a look towards ledge with the fire breath and uh, still the DI out as the Kazuya. Oh, I like the neutral B charge there just as an attempt to disrupt the approach. You made sure you got out of the way of that Bowser Nair, and now you do not find the shell in time. The shell spin sends Kazuya into the far right blast zone, taking this member, Percival, down to their team's final stock in this first oh, matchup. This could man. be a huge clutch moment, or this could spell disaster. This could be Deuville already rewriting history. Last time they went up against NYAT, they were not able to find even a single of the two sets, and now... They're looking to find one early on, and they're looking mighty good to do it. The full waiter gets extended by the hitbox, and Uville's Phantom already has Percival on the ropes. Oh, no. Okay. This is in the set. Oh, you got to do so much work here in Percival. You got to be agile. You cannot be getting hit by any sort of damage here. He's been trying to bob and weave, but can't dodge well. the feet. It's a drop kick to do it. The Bowser will take it in with an extra stock to spare. Why not? We'll get Duville up first here, 1-0 when it comes to it. That was very, very impressive. Incredibly well done. The first of what could be five matchups here between the two of them. This is a best of five after all, but Duville is already one third of the way done with their objectives here tonight. They've rewritten history in a pretty aggressive way out the gate, and they're going to be looking to do it once again back to back. I, I will say, Kat, I'm very surprised they were able to win that out. They, they brought out a lot of characters that aren't traditionally meta, right? I, I mean, Pac-Man, uh -huh. K. Rule, and Bowser... When I think of being meta in this game, none of those three come to mind. Probably not for a while. Sure. Three mid to high, like low high tier characters, but they made all three of them work, and that's the important part. Hey, well, Septlins, I just want to say this, man. Let's hear it. Look, when we got that short little pause, I gave you a chance to change your answer. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, you're right. You said, Wait, will you, you do it again? Right? Will like, you do it you again? Know, I gave you, I gave you a chance. Will yeah, you do yeah. It again? so. I'm not quite positive on top of the desk. I remember uh, you said you've seen NYT before. It's so yeah, like right, played, right. but but I remember as well. You really uh, you thought maybe because of the the run back that there's a chance that you maybe would, would turn things around this time. Yep, definitely, Cap. That is totally what I said. Nobody go back and watch the VOD. Just take my word for it. That there is yeah. a real chance that Duville can win this out. I mean, the matchup difference uh -huh. is is pretty impressive. It's fascinating that of the three matchups, I gave the advantage to the wrong character three times in a row. It's very unique because, <laughs> well, like, looking at raw statistics, curse, looking at raw statistics, those are the true facts that, you know, X should have won over Y. But each sure. time, there was the expectation defied of Duville coming out and clutching it. It was, it was very impressive. It was very difficult, but they got the job done. They're looking mighty good moving forward, and I'm eager to see if they can take another set off of NYIT. Can they go two for two? I think we almost certainly get different looks for the opening. I think we have to. Well, we have to. I mean, if, if you're feeling that strongly about it, Seth, tell me. Tell I me feel why. like I feel like if you bring Cap out against Pac-Man again, you're asking to get beat. I mean, it's such a difficult matchup Basically. to win. It's very unfavorable for Captain Falcon. The fact you got as close as you did last time felt more like a fluke than an ability. It's just a matchup difference in that set. More than any other set I think we saw. That's the one where I was mm -hmm. like, okay, Pac should absolutely win that. And he does. Just barely, but something tells me if that right. matchup gets ran again, it will not be a just barely. It will be a one and done scenario. So okay. I, I'm okay. I, I'm rooting that they don't start with Captain Falcon again. I think Captain Falcon can also make a very strong anchor later on in the matchup. He can come in and clean up a lot of stocks that maybe the rest of the team was struggling with. Kazuyo should have also been a good anchor, and unfortunately, Percival couldn't Shh, find yeah. couldn't find the footing they needed to succeed. Yeah, which gives me. In my opinion, I feel like we might maybe, and we don't usually, like, typically Percival is at the NYIT closer. Right. But I would possibly here, because, you know, you need that bit of momentum to come back in after going down 1-0. I think maybe they switch Percival here towards the opening and let the boy run through as many stocks as possible up front. You know what I mean? Because we've seen that be effective a lot of the time for some of these teams as well. Because like, you're not, you're really, a lot of the time, you're not expecting the heavy hitter first. Yep. The heavy hitter jumps out, decimates what they can, and then you leave it to the rest of the boys, like, Come on, come on, dog. I, I bulldozed all this space. I shoveled your driveway. All you got to do is, is walk down and, and, and sprinkle the salt and make sure it doesn't, yep. get, uh, doesn't get thawed back over, you know? So 
I think that could be a good opportunity for them. Because, I mean, it's harder to, right, when you're that closer, that player who really does hit a lot harder a lot of the time, uh, to have to walk into all that pressure now and be, just be forced to deal with it rather than have that pressure you can alleviate just by the fact that, okay, I'm chilling up front. I got two more homies behind me. Let me just do yep. what I can up front. Let me and do what I can here. That's something you and I agree on, Kat. I think the collegiate scene is very split on where do you put your best player? Do you put them uh -huh. in the very front? Do you put them in the middle to try and clean up if you start losing? Or do you put them in the end to try and clean up whatever's left? Personally, right. I am very, very pro sending out your best player first. Like you said, mm -hmm. cleaning up as much as possible, making it as easy as can be for the rest of the squad. The mental, of course, but naturally, you, you know, you've got to consider that other risk of... Okay, then if you lose your best player, is it is it worthwhile? Has it always been worth it to do this kind of play style? Right, right. It's, it's a scary risk and one that every team has to immediately juggle to decide, are we making yeah. the right choice here? Yeah, I was question too, like where are they placing their best player as well? He's, I, I, I'm never, never going to start with the middle. At the very least, I'll never, ever be hip on the middle. I think the middle is, is trolling. Valid, valid. You just need to have that player in a in a comfortable spot. I think the middle uh the middle is pretty forgiving a lot of the time because I feel like you can make up the gap uh in I'm the missing, in the front of the end. I'm missing one character. It was Pac, K Rule, and third uh, person. Fur. Who was in the middle? K Rule was think. in the middle. No, the there weren't two. K Rule Bowser, no? Bowser, thank you. Bowser, yeah, Bowser was, was the end though. K Rule was thinking, in the middle. I was thinking K Rule was at the end. That was my fault. I replaced this the guy. This guy is so. lost. I We're going to try to find him. Uh, what? A quick break. When we get back, Septlins will we'll find him. Find him video map. incoming. See you guys soon. What?
is going on, everybody, and welcome back. We are jumping right back into the swing of things. CPU versus Satorin, I believe is the name there. It's a little bit blurry on my end, but the Terry, I'm super excited to see NYIT not only changing their roster, but just bringing out a whole new player. I love it. Super smart play in Terry. A little more of that DLC privilege. He's got that go online. He, gets, he has that 100% meter, and he might be able to use it against CPU. I'm going to be looking a lot at these fires coming out from Terry because it'll disrupt a lot of those low ground pack combos. A little spike to the hydrant. Middle of that stage, back control by Terry Perry early to come through. Dies that orange opportunity. Dash attack not going to catch, not going to land. The fire aren't going to land from the top ropes and looking to go to the platform now. Oh, let him know. Called out and caught early by CPU is back on the opening. CPU has the stage control pretty early on here. The go meter online 105 to 60. Far away, but it's not going to be far. Or it is a little too far away, actually. I love the down smash there. Going to find a little bit of momentum, but wow. catches the fire hydrant early. I love it. One of my favorite pack plays, the forward smash into the fire hydrant. And Terry, oh, does make it back. I totally thought he wasn't going to be able to. This is the two frame down air and now catches the orange center stage. Once again, has to get through the projectiles. Go meter online and might not get to use it. Grab into down throw. Has the lightning online. Oh, what a read. Yes, Absolute soul read from Satorian to find that first stock. Still going to activate here into this one. Torn stepping into the roster and having success early. A first stock and now a chance to really look to expend his own. Caught by the Hydrant, but back again at 170. The spike, does that finish it? It does. So the star KO will finally be there. Only about 37% acquired before CPU trades it back. So pretty close, pretty even here on stock two. Pretty even on the second stock, but 80% differential can definitely be comfortable for the side of Satorin from NYIT. Pressure's on, 80%. Terry's already looking oh at a kill confirm. Days. I think now you've, you've entered triple digits. It's almost a guaranteed kill. If you can land a similar combo to the one you just found a moment ago, the knockback wasn't there in time, but you'll have it. Locked and loaded this time. 108, 40% credit here for CPU. The grab, Pac-Man, I believe the slowest grab in the game, which is always a little bit goofy, but it's twice as impressive when the packs landed after that. Comes through with the Galaga quickly out the gate. Wants to find that pressure, wants to force Terry into an uncomfortable offstage scenario and not able to line it up quite yet. No one wanting to step in. You can see how nervous the Pac-Man is at the fact, recognizing once one big combo, that'll do me in. Wanting to oh. avoid it and just can't at the end of the day, sent to the front of the screen. Posterized and gone away is that second stock onto that last life now for CPU. Santorin, 66% could be the difference here between taking extra stock into the next battle. Yeah, I'm starting to feel like we might get a little bit of a repeat of matchup number one back at the beginning of the first crew battle when it was kind of a one stock to one stock scenario and somebody won mm -hmm. in the final moments only with an extra stock moving forward. If Satorin can rewrite that early, if Satorin can go into the next matchup with two stocks, there is a statistical chance oh. to win that. A great spot dodge comes through quickly. The fire hydrant back air off stage. Go meter in the pocket, but you might not even get to use it. I love oh, the yeah. courage from CPU to use the down air, but it falls a little short. Terry catches it out with the recovery. Shields on stage, has to wait out that ghost and now has the lineup. Where's the follow through? 82%. Can you find it before losing the stock? Oh, the nerves got to be here for CPU. We'll recover quickly off of that ledge. Look at the projectiles now. Terry to push him away. Holding that center of the stage. Caught out now, set to the side. So hypersthetic, so getting absolutely blasted across the stage now. We'll jump for the platform, we'll hit the back air for their troubles, and now gonna have that control. Control in the pocket of Satorin. If they can just find this go meter, they can send Pac-Man easily into the blast zone, possibly into several blast zones in the in the future here. But 167, you've got to be careful because oh. even an apple will take you off the table. I didn't even get to say it. And it happened just as quickly. 101 to 0, Satorin down to that final stock. Only going to have one moving into it. Either of them, whoever wins this, just because you're at 123, does not necessarily mean you'll be the loser of the matchup. I've seen people come back from worse, but coming back from that is nearly impossible. Satorin clutches out matchup number one in favor of NYIT. An apple a day keeps the extra stock away. It was just one well walking well forward for the Terry, but man, did that one get close as well. Just couldn't quite finish the combo. And you got to give credit to CPU for the ability to stay away from what were some of those combos. Some big looks for dash attacks for the Terry to get in, to open up, and the dodges came through with the pack to avoid it. So that could have been worse than it was. Pretty close, and yeah, about what we saw for what was battle number one that uh, ended up with Juville walking away with a two stock advantage to close the crew battle early. CPU once again, the opener and once again, well, I I mean, when you look at it, like, lo loses the open, I'd say both times, considering the fact that like where the stock counts lie after things are said and right, done. Right. 
it's sorry brother it's, it's interesting no i'm just thinking terry is like a strong character terry can get a lot done uh -huh. in a single stock but i'm trying to think is there really a run of three stocks to one stock or are we realistically just going to see the one loss before anything else falls the win condition for terry right now is to find one stock Anything after one stock is super comfortable, super efficient, because you put your team in the the winning hypothetical, the winning box, so to speak. Okay. And that's what you're looking for. You want to find one stock as your next member goes in, two players left for each of them, but five stocks versus six stocks. And as we learned, one or two stocks makes all the difference at the end of this. Yeah, Almost absolutely. always. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, even just like looking at uh, that final battle, the fact that Terry can play so much more comfortably when that second stock does finally get reset, the fact that you got zero percent versus what is 70 80 obviously you're stepping right in you'll care about taking a little bit of combo damage you know that you've got so much extra damage that you're able to take so yeah being able to jump into a matchup with an extra stock is is absolutely huge that you know that you can play a lot more a lot more dangerous you take a lot more risk and it doesn't really matter if those risks go awry as long as there aren't too many of them so 100 percent but do you feel one once again going to be out early not just now by the series score but by the stock count for the second time here in this one we'll see if we get a switch up of players i think we had noto step in i believe it's noto or the second look for the k rule it is yeah looking like it will be a noto stepping in yet again for the middle so i don't think we get any sort of, of roster change we don't get any sort of set change or, or player order change for nyit going into the second game either and something I keep talking about, and it's so funny because Nodo continuously keeps proving me wrong on it. And, and I welcome it. I think I think it's very funny. But I keep saying, oh, K-Rule combo food, K-Rule combo food. And then Nodo is doing a, a phenomenal job through and through making sure they aren't just getting comboed into oblivion. It's, it's been very uh, patient and very cautious gameplay to make sure they're not just going to get walked through every time they play K-Rule. Going into Terry, it should be honestly kind of easy to, to dominate terry a little bit you can play a center stage game into an off stage game forcing him to adjust quickly and react not be able to use his abilities as much but if noto and i hate to think that i'm caster cursing this but if noto does all of the sudden start becoming that combo food we could just as likely see this terry take two or maybe even three stocks He want to be combo food, man. He be, he, doubt. Nobody want to be combo food. It's embarrassing. I mean, it, it stinks. I've dense, been combo food on stream food. before. Yeah, it's a lot, it's a lot of calories in, in a food like that. I'll be honest, with you. especially in the K rule, man. Like, kinda, he a, he a he's kind of bulky. Like, he's got a big tummy. Like, there's a lot, of, there's a lot of fat going into going into that meat. You know what I mean? So, like, you really got you got to cut through that. It takes a lot to prepare. Uh, delicacy, though, uh, the crocodile meat. That looks I mean, I've I never had crocodile. My hands I, on it. Yeah, I can't say. I've I haven't either, but I heard before. it's like pretty. Uh, it's pretty fine. I see it. Actually, ends up being pretty lean. Well, not not in K rule sense, but in the, the typical. In the real sense, yeah. Not. <laughs> not yeah, when the they're. Yeah, not when they're a uh, pirate hat wearing bipedal crocodile. We're talking about the real yeah. ones. It's it's a little different, but either way, it's it's fascinating. You know, we're going to be seeing K rule and Terry back to Pokemon Stadium Two, which I, I think makes a lot of sense. It's a stage people are comfortable with. I feel like in every esport, we will find a stage or a map that everybody has played hundreds of times. Yeah. It feels like yep. PS Two is that for Smash Ultimate, and it's it's you know I, I think I've analyzed everything I can. That was kind of a weirdly Thank long you, break. I, I don't want to talk everything into the ground, but it's just looking at that matchup of will Terry be hungry enough to find that combo food or will terry lose this one stock instantaneously and we just run it back two to two well forget the questions how about we get ourselves some answers let's jump into our second battle here of what will be crew battle number two diva leading by one and leading by two stocks into this one we'll see if satorin can take anything to try to even up the standings into the, what will be the next fight yeah, it's up to Satorin to try and set a precedent early on here. Taking even one stock is the win condition out the gate. We see the dash attack come through just as quickly. And now 40% off stage. Cannonball Damn. catches Crown Damn. to find as well. And this is what I was afraid of. K Rule just playing that distance game, making it so hard for Terry to get in. 65% on the board. The parry is found 72 to 40 now. Satorin desperate to find something. But K Rule, I mean, that is one heavy dude. He's not going to be taken down easy. Hey, K Rule buff unmoving for certain You're gonna back off the ledge the belly gonna be there recovery tear with that up air into the combo has got the, the kill pretty high in percentage but so big will live for quite a bit of time 
Oh, oh, very well oh, done. Not. Exactly 100%. Gets the gold meter online and uses it. It doesn't even matter if you lose your stock now. You did exactly what you needed to to put your team into a winning position. Up okay? um, smash comes out. Going to be shielded out. And oh, I love it. I love from Satorian what we're seeing right now. 60%. Could they go as far as taking the second stock? Wouldn't quite be a miracle, but by golly, would it be difficult? Incredibly well done from this player so far. Oh, and the stage okay. spike is not found. 80%. Percent doesn't okay. matter though, you gotta find the stock. That's where it really starts to add up. Fantastic work so far here for San oh, there it is. Finally well done. Well done. wrapped up, but that stock sneaks away and that advantage could be a big one. So the script does does look to rewrite itself just a little bit. We saw Divo in a, situ a similar situation. They got themselves Back to even slates by Lexa NYT. Now they get a chance to play for an early advantage and they've secured it. They've secured an early advantage by a single stock. Now, again, just to run it back in case you're joining us halfway through, you know, that we saw the first match out won by Deuville, who won by two stocks. Right now, there's a right. one stock advantage for NYIT. If they find a second stock advantage, could that same thing happen? Could they reset us into a traditional best of three by tying things up one to one? Or can Deuville? Watch this out with their five remaining stocks. It is only a one stock disadvantage after all. So it's not like, right. oh, we've guaranteed lost this. You know, there's no hope. It's like, there's absolutely hope, especially with K rule on the board. He is one heavy dude. And if NYIT fails to bring out the proper counter, you will can roll through this. Yeah, keeping that second, that second second alive. Definitely nice as well. So Noda going in with two instead of the one into this next fight. And Noda had pretty, pretty decent success as well into... What was their second look into last crew battle as well? So, player that can decimate Ooh. a bit of stocks. I'm going to need to. Plant, I assume. Unless Wolf brings out something else, I would presume we're going to be seeing the Piranha Plant once again. Uh, I'm excited, but I'm nervous. It's combo food, folks. I'm not going to keep running down the same story. As long as there's a massive hurt box on the stage like K. Rule, that is the number one concern, at least in the back of my mind, is that combo food? Is it going to be that classic plant cleanup? The Batuis are going to be super easy to hit. So maybe the counterplay comes out from the K rule in terms of using the parry a lot more often, making it a lot harder for that player to find Batuis comfortably. It could come through with the poison cloud as well. There's a lot of variables that this K rule could do, but you know, I'm not used to stalling this long between matchups. So we're just waiting to find out what stage they want to go to. It's a bit funny. Be honest, be honest with me. Don't be honest with me. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Is this a bit I'm funny? Honest. Have you not been looking? Oh, he's not even looking at my cam, bro. I'm looking. I'm sorry. Ha I'm sorry. Go have ahead. you looked at it at all? Yes, you've been eating? Are you the combo food? Is this the joke? Yeah, I, I've been, I've been oh. munching, dude. I've munched the whole time. Every time you say combo food, I munch. That's funny. I did catch that. I commented on it earlier. I made a comment when you did it. I said, say I said, swear. Oh. Say I swear. said oh, he eating. He munching. I feel like I said that earlier. At least I yeah, thought. Yeah, was it? Is it maybe funny? I didn't say it. It's funny. No? I like it. I like it. Personally. No, you don't have to think it's funny. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a silly I'm guy. I like it. Okay. Maybe Thank chat you. can be honest. With chat, you do you too. like it? I, be honest. I like it. Maybe chat. Yeah, don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. Yo. I can, anyway, I can K rule ditto on battlefield. This is interesting. Uh, I would like to see it on FD just because that's a little sillier. Bro. It's a lot harder to get out of those combos. But this could be a very short matchup or an incredibly long one. And with the one stock advantage, as long as NYIT's Wolf is comfortable on the K rule, they should feel pretty confident going into it. However, K rule can beat the snot out of himself, no doubt. A lot of K rule abilities, great encountering a character like K rule. The reflector out of the crown. I don't know why you'd do it, but by golly, it's silly. I like to see it. Grab into down throw, into up air, 21%. Comboed into 30 with the up smash, 44 now. Forward smash comes out as well. And Nato caught off stage Nato trying to make him say oh no but cannot find the combo break quite yet 65 percent oh they both do it that's so stupid that's so silly but i love it regardless <laughs> best call <laughs> it's one of my real favorite footage. things one of my favorite well said, things that, that happens is so in Smash is when two players like go to <laughs> hit something and they both whiff it, it's hysterical it, it makes me chuckle every time bro the carol ditto is i think one of the worst matchups I can agree with that. I Just due to the fact that. that it's literally, it almost feels like you win by being the better masher. Yo, absolutely. <laughs> Carol's a mash character through and through. I mean, a lot of his abilities come through just spamming until you find something. He's like a large version of the Lynx. You know, that's what I keep calling him. Like, he's just going to spam. He's just going to keep his momentum booted forward and see what he can do with it. Right now... Nato oh. can't do much. It has just been a constant stream of damage from Wolf. They found the first stock, and if Wolf can find this second one, if they can make this six stocks to three, Bro. that's NYIT almost guaranteeing themselves the comfort of winning this second match and tying things up one to one. 
Bro hitting him with the bump, the scoot, the oh, boogie. Oh my god. And yeah, we'll dance on down well to a done. six stock, three stock scenario. That was a. Uh, you know, it was a ditto. The, the characters were the same, but the, the skill level. <laughs> it was, uh, there was a little I'll bit of there. A little, little bit yeah, of yeah. there for sure. I will say, as cringy as K. Rule can be, I do eventually want to get his crown and put it on my shelf somewhere behind me. I feel like oh. that's a that's like a niche like thing. Charming. And I, I, I played K. Rule when Ultimate started, and then I was like, mm, this guy's kind of dog. And he's still he's still not very good. That's why I made the comment earlier. People that are playing K. Rule are playing him for a reason. They've put in the hours, they've put in the work, and I think he can be good in the right hands. My hands just were not the right ones. So I I swapped off a of K. Rule pretty early on, but I still hold the place in my heart for that weird little bipedal crocodile. Oh, I like that you you give the full government. Uh, you got it. You got his Gubby name, yeah. Outline, yeah. Is his full Gubby name? He's yeah. I mean, he's a weird little bipedal crocodile that, for I for a brief <laughs> stint of time, thought he was from space, and then found out he's in fact not from space. Don't know where I got that information, but it was. He doesn't even look correct. like he's from space, bro. No, I okay. So I think I think I found out why I thought he was from space because in his final smash, he has like a laser. And I think I associated the laser with being in space, which is not even smart, but okay. it's, it's where I was coming from. And then somebody was like, no, except he's just like, he's just a crocodile. And I was like, oh, for real? Say psych right now, but no, it's it's no psych. He's just a crocodile. Just a silly, silly little dude. Silly big dude, I guess. Sorry, I was doing the math. It's okay. On, on crocodiles? One plus one. Crocodile. Yeah, you're getting five and like uh one plus one uh, equals adds, crocodile from space. Adds, uh, Win a pirate well, hat. Well, the pirate you know. hat makes my point even worse, to be honest, because why yeah, would you have a like, pirate hat in space? I don't know. I mean, some of the characters are pretty goofy. Like that's true. I don't understand that. Also, like a like a. Well, and I was gonna say like Fox Final Smash, like there's the, the spaceship ship. and stuff. Yeah. But I mean, he like does do that, so that doesn't. See, but Fox is work. from space. Fox, yeah, that's Fox, what I'm saying. It's like that Fox one doesn't cloud. really work. That just is true. So yeah, he's from space. I can't give you that. There's one, a lot of characters from space. K. Rule is just not one of them. I mean, there's the Samuses. There's Fox and Falco and Wolf. There's uh -huh. more, I'm sure, if I thought. Oh, Olimar, he's from space. Wow, you're, you know you're main, bro. If we include Alf as well, that's technically the same character. But I include well, yeah. both Samus. I, I included both Samuses, so. so now I have to include both both Olimars. That's at least seven of the eighty six characters from space. I mean, that's that's, that's all a lot. Them. That's that like might as be every single one. Don't check the math on that. I just said a number. Didn't even didn't even try to actually say the right <laughs> yeah. I, I, I like be, that. I just be lying out here. Statistical <laughs> angle, bro. It's just like whatever I think is pretty close. And then I'm what are they gonna do? Right? Look it up, right? Yeah. What are you guys gonna do? Look it up? You're not gonna look it up. You're not. You don't care. Fact check me. I dare you. So it's Phantom coming it's in next. On Twitter. Phantom played. Did Phantom play last time? No. No. There's okay. a, there's Great. a lot of switch ups. I'm going not on crazy. Here. Okay. I was like, I we got Santorin in. We get Phantom in. Change ups. I like to see I it. Know. I don't know who Phantom plays, but that always gives us the element of surprise, the air of uncertainty. I am concerned. Bye. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna say it. Say it. This probably wraps it up, dog. I I don't think it happens for the likes of the big Duville, because you're looking at unless Phantom is the goat. Which hey, maybe Phantom is the I've goat. I've seen some pretty goaty at, Bowsers. You got you got to win this one pretty clean, right? Because you're looking you're facing down six stocks right now, and then you got to go toe to toe with the likes of Percival. And, and another bout you gotta win that one out uh we'll yeah. all have three stocks going like you really gotta play this one perfectly get the advantage early i think phantom did indeed play because they're uh stepping on the bows different skin so maybe different it's bowser, different like, bowser who's player? got two bowsers on their team bro i unfortunately do know of a team that has two bowsers it's not even these guys it's a different team uh outside well, of maybe the ECC, a chance but bowser's a pretty com i mean pretty common character actually he's one that gets memed on a lot but he can be pretty strong in, in a lot of comfortable scenarios it's that neutral B charge. And I, it's funny, I think we saw Wolf with the ideal win condition early on of don't let Bowser get anywhere near you and you probably win. But then he kind of just like forgot about it and the Bowser just found a lot of nares, a lot of forward errors, and it's kept that momentum moving pretty pretty intensely in favor of the u -Bill. That should be a stock. Yes, oh, nope, too heavy. Bro. Can't get rid of him yet, oh. smile. There it is, now finally. Will Wolf's first stock off the table. 
could it be enough to give Phantom that three stock victory for Bill already at 130, oh. so the three stock feels pretty unlikely, but unlikely does not mean impossible. Bro is jump roping over the K rules, hand swipes. Immediately stock traded back out, and you're not you're not in the business of trading here if your Phantom, right. that's for sure, is gonna right. start to build some percentage now, but Hard to be cautious, right? Hard to not get caught when you're playing against such a such another big and heavy character. Yeah, when you're Bowser, it's not like you can zone. Like, you need to be up close. You, you can't play this slow. You can't play this scared. You need to play this hyper-aggressive. You need to get out. You need to rip the door off its hinges. You need to beat the snot out of K rule. But right now, he just can't find that speed, can't find that momentum. And even if Phantom does go on to oh, win this with two movement. stocks, with one stock, he still has to go into the next matchup already at at least a one-stock deficit. In with the parry, hit him with this movement, unfortunately off stage, and now it gets back on. Fire Breath's gonna go awry, but uh, out of shield is chilling. Neither uh, that player quite gonna land just yet. This swipe from the K rule, it'll be the look for the projectile. Crown will be in the opposing direction, was looking for the call out and just did not quite get it. I have a pummel, we'll have the back throw off stage yet again. Will be the likes of Phantom. Oh, the neutral spin comes out early. The shell finds a lot of value onto the K rule. Oh, I love the attempt onto the stage spike, but just because it's an attempt does not mean it's going to be a successful one. 5% differential on the second stock. Both these heavy hitters, just a good hit away from death. The spot dodge comes in clutch, but it's not going to be the hit to find that second stock. The up air, though, will seal the deal. We'll break the curse and we'll put Phantom on their third and final stock. Even if Phantom does go on to win this, if they go on to take this stock and the following, they will have to win a three stock to one stock differential against NYIT's final member. Hearing that has got you nervous and you're not even in the game. You're not even right. in the lobby, man. Huh? We're just watching. Yeah, I mean, three stocks, not, not impossible, but not exactly likely either. And that's kind of the boat I'm sitting in right now of finding this scenario. Gotta get out of this one too, yeah. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta survive this one just to get into that one. And then you have to defy any and all expectation from there on out, so... It would, it would be the miracle run of all miracle runs. And right now, Wolf dropping the ball just a little bit may at least allow the Uvils Phantom to make it into that final matchup unless they can just find this kill confirmed somewhere in the wings. Okay. okay. Made it out. Okay. We made it out, baby. We made it out 92%. And Phantom will squeak away from that matchup. Now looking at the likes of Percival or whoever the closer ends up being. I'd be shocked if yeah, we're it was assuming Percival. We don't actually P. know if it's Percival. But, and oh my goodness. Well, whoever it is, man, it could be me. We're looking at three stocks. Well, it probably could have been me. Get Cat in there. It probably could have been go. me. I'll be honest. It probably could be me. But uh, we got three stocks. Phantom's got a lot of work to do and can't change up the Bowser either. So we're probably looking at another big, heavy hitter to make sure the player can't move, uh, make sure the Bowser can't move around. And oh, yes. Oh, please. A little zone Okay. Yes, okay. please. It's our Arsene, a player we haven't seen yet, but the snake is going to go bro. bonkers here. Bro, they're just playing on that name, bro. Dog, I've been talking about... Bro, read the top food. right, man. Dog, I've been talking about combo food all day. This is like... This is it, my guy. Like, this is it. Oh, wait. I'm begging you to, I'm begging you to read the top right of the screen, bro. Oh, I'm wait. I'm baited. I didn't even see that. I was yeah, so excited yeah, about Snake, names, Dog. names, bro. It's just that their name is, bro. Ooh. I'm sorry. I'm, so I'm excited. sorry. They I'm so they excited. evaded you, man. I wonder if there used to be a Joker player because the name Arsene obviously comes from. Yeah. Where's the really I... really hip on Persona, bro? Yeah, you know everybody, everybody loves Persona. I totally me. I said one of the worst Personas actually. I've actually never played Persona at all. I don't I don't know the games oh, very oh, well. Hell, no, no. yeah. Well, oh I can tell God. you, this is going as expected. This is just a matchup diff, and with a two-stock differential, this is just going to be near impossible for any Bowser player to, to come out and win this. That, that's no offense to Phantom and their talent, but right now, Percival should be able to find a lot of projectile damage. The up tilt will be super helpful. The down air to Boo. We saw the combo set up fall a little bit short, but perhaps that little bit is going to go a really long way. And the fact that now Percival stuck off stage, the grenade super armored through, the stage spike falls, the recovery there, not going to go for the down air attempt. A little surprised by that, not going to lie. I thought the down air was going to be right around the corner, and instead, we're waiting it out. Side special comes out, the rocket finds Bowser off stage, second one going to miss, Mortar goes up, the takes mortar. him down. What a call out. That will win it. Yeah, calls the jump perfectly. Tied up, one to one, baby, at least two more. At least two more, one to one, and a uh, pretty confident one, too. I agree. I agree. Uh, was that, that one felt different. Stocks, seven forward, yeah, and uh, having. 
that big of a lead so long as well. But I mean, we saw absolutely no difference to the order. You though I feel like that that changes here. Yeah, Please this is going to be the reset, but I do think we're going to throw it to a super minor break. I believe that was the end of match number two. So we're tied up one to yep. one. We're going to throw it to like a three, five minute break. We'll see you right back here with some more Smash Ultimate in just a couple of minutes. What's up, everybody? Welcome back once again. We've just wrapped up set number two of what could be five, could maybe be four, but it certainly will not be a 3-0 here tonight. Both mm -hmm. teams, a victory under their belts, and now one of them has to take the lead. Cat have essentially reset us into a, a best of three at this point. Now they only need yep. to win two each. The score at the top is not correct. We're going to fix that for you in just a minute, but we are starting things off strong. K. Rule versus Palutena. I don't know how I feel about this one. <laughs> We'll also get the switch up that Noto, the middle player for Diva will be first into this one. a different one. So character. That, yeah, they switch away from CPU, so that'll that'll be interesting to see that look up come through. Uh, the Palu to come out, the K rule to be in the hands of Wolf. Uh, originally stepped into the middle match, K rule K rule matchup. So I, I do wonder if they thought about the order. So I'll play K rule to their K rule and just got caught by the Palu. Yeah, I, I think this is fascinating. I wonder if that is the intention. I wonder if they just want to put out Wolf earlier because Wolf has really been doing a good job finding eliminations, finding numbers, and putting the team out of a deficit they have found themselves in. Can't always do it forever, though, especially in a matchup. And I'm not positive on this, but I do believe it's not oh. exactly beneficial for K. Rule. I, I think Palutena can do a lot of reflecting against his primary... Um, his primary kind of uh, approaches, like his neutral Bs and so on and so forth. I, I expect a lot of explosive flames as well. The Nair train, we saw Lame. it right out the gate. Incredibly effective for Palu against that giant hurt box known as K. Rule. And Noto should have, I mean, really good chances of putting their team in a winning position here for set number three. Yeah, I think Palu can also space pretty solid as well. Yeah. Looks at that explosion light. So the fact that uh, they can keep that K. Rule at bay a lot of the time, that is a... A massive punch to knock out a stock there. So it'll be even at two. Looks on the platform are strong for the Pally right now. Noto taking it to him. Oh. Send him off ledge with likes of the wings. Trying to send 
this other stock the second look from the k rule into flight and has done just that so that one will flap away it'll be even zero zero but it'll be the stock advantage for noto good odds to take this one up by two good odds to try and win this out here but it's going to be a difficult scenario for there to be any kind of turnaround wolf tries to dash attack through Ooh. their own cannonball but it is deflected they're not able to find it and out of the low recovery not going to cost oh, them yet went for everything noto goes no low there but not too low they make it right back up onto the stage they try to find that nair once again they pick it up i expect an explosive flame to be just around the corner dash attack shielded out the down smash sends k rule into the blast zone but not enough to send him out of this matchup explosive flames iframes get blocked out there a rule 90 percent back here gonna be whiffed the nair finds him for a first time once again a secondary back here missing oh the deflect not found and k rule still standing but just barely right now yeah still standing but how much longer can you be at least enough to grab another stock to make things a little bit closer hopefully we'll send to the platform now noto gonna stall out with this time with that suction and now we'll come back Ooh. towards the stage caught back off yet again i like the cannonball play a lot there very simple but could have been incredibly effective Unfortunately, can't find the lineup on it yet. 134, still breathing, just looking for that second stock. The odds of taking the third, they are well aware. Probably pretty stinking low, but if you can find just one more, nice. make it easier for your teammate to nice. win it out. But a whole world of ifs, ands, and buts not going to be happening here today. That is a two-stock victory. The first time set number one has ended with a two-stock victory instead of a one. Yep, that is true. The farthest we've gone was the 7-6. Now an 8-6 to six for the likes of Duville and Main. I love that play. That's my favorite play to end the game right there. The classic stand on the ledge. Don't give them the option to read what your edge guard is going to be. Like le legitimately hit him with the. Straight up. Straight up. And then, and then move at that last second. You know, never gives the K the option to read where they're going to go. Is able to walk through, grab themselves the pummel in the back throw and finish off the game. So coming back to the pile loot looked pretty good. Uh, it's nice to see Noto on new character. I love to see uh, how deep we can run with uh, fighter pools for oh. some of. Uh... Okay, we we talked a little bit about uh, yeah. about order of players. I'm a firm believer. Never put the best in the middle, but while well, NYT gonna try to put me wrong here. This is fascinating. I wonder if that's because of the two stock advantage. For sure, that's what I'm thinking. That's what I'm thinking. Hello. That can't be right, right? That can't be correct. Oh, man, I'm a big uh, Kingdom Hearts fan, so. No, I just, I saw his, like, <laughs> of all the DLC, I think he's the worst. Uh... I'm pretty sure, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it, I can't really think of another DLC that that struggled um, to not just immediately become the strongest in the game. A lot of DLC had that opportunity ah. for Steve. But Sora is, is uh, he's a niche good. pick for sure. I mean, this is, this is something I've actually never cast before. And this will be the first and last time I cast it. This is my last Smash Ultimate broadcast. So this will be a, this will be a weird one for sure. Okay, was that a Sephiroth swap? That's more like it, baby. That's more like it. Give me, give me that Sephiroth. I don't know. I mean, I think to your point, that is true. But I also think that every other DLC was just so good. That, true, true. You know what I mean? Like, it was not, not bad. Especially compared to the rest of the, the, rest of the roster, really. Look at the, some of the DLC fighters and man, like, Game change of potential is just absolutely ridiculous. So it definitely can look like that at times. Uh, a little bit of you know a little question mark, a little a little bait and switch. Uh, you know you gotta you gotta keep your opponent on their toes. I think I think this time is time. So yeah, well we'll get going here into this one. Two stock advantage going to be here for Duville. A chance to really move up early. See if Percival has anything to say about it. Yeah, this Sephiroth could be huge, or it could be not very effective, all things considered. But that's, I think, what is it, like six and a half foot sword or something? Something absurd like that. Could it really come in handy of disrupting those nares or getting through Me those approaches. Me too, brother. If you whiff the explosive flame, you might be able to find... If they whiff the explosive flame, excuse me, you can punish those frames as they're waiting for that move to come to a close. Oh. However, you gotta get out of the nares. Palutena Online Classic, that never-ending nair train. It is Devious Cat through and through, and it racks up a lot of damage for free. 46% already online. The neutral beat from Sephiroth going to be able to find it. Forward air comes out 51% to the Palutena. A one stock disadvantage until Sephiroth loses that first stock, and I'm not sure we're going to be seeing it anytime soon. Currently tied things up. A 1% differential less than nice. now Palutena grab into back throw. Could be the momentum boost she needs to get back on top of the momentum here. Probably spinning that baton like they are in the color guard carrying this to off around this stage but it will be when things are settled when we get a bit, a bit of a break 
between the connections as the fight for the neutral comes through. Even Horizons. So they're going to catch big oh. damage and will send away. So it's one stock left for Noto. A lot of damage, a chance to get Percival down, at least chunked a bit. But a second player comes back out. I mean, if Percival can take nice. this up, oh, never mind. I was going to say, without losing that's a stock, that's that's that really could prove why they bring that player in when they choose to. But right now, Percival not able to do it without losing at least one stock. You can equalize pretty aggressively here to an extent. You're still going to be uh -huh. down by probably minimum one stock, but you can make it a lot easier for your team. We talked about how minimal one stock can really be until it comes down to that final stock. 18% differential, Paul Lutana right back in the swing of things. She wants to find that hyper aggression out the gate. Wants to put this player down nice. early, but instead it's the Sephiroth with the turnaround neutral be charged tries to catch the two frame can't find it up there also going to fall short and now Noto is going to have a moment to try and catch another nair train out of town but it might be the sephiroth express that sends him packing solid spot dodge no uh calculation off it though for the palu grab will go right towards center center stage and now very close the kill potential here is the sephiroth so you gotta be very careful if you're Noto and will get is. caught trying to recover trying to step back into the ledge and straight into danger first of all we'll send it away we'll lose one stock in the process but it will be almost even back up here as this closer gonna sneak out yeah, we're back to that mythical one stock differential it's not gonna be easy it's never easy to dig yourself out of a hole like that especially because sephiroth is the type of character that likes to be in the lead he doesn't really have any kind of 100 percent uh you know buff or he doesn't have like the lucario or a spear charge where the more damage you take and the stronger you are He's just a guy with a sword and a wing. Like, he, that's all he's got to his name. He's really going to have to try and clutch this one out aggressively. We don't know who the next player is going to be for Diouville yet, but I'm, I'm just wondering. Both teams have brought a lot of new players out. Yep. So I'm wondering if we're going to see somebody new once again, or is it just going to be that classic, you know, welcome back to the fray situation? Yeah, so we got to see Noto step up first instead of the middle for once. Uh, CPU's traditionally been that player out first. Uh, we've seen Phantom towards the end with that Bowser. So if they are playing with just this roster of three, the chance to swap these two players around, see where they want to put them. See if Phantom will go back towards the clothing or not. Wouldn't be surprised if that is the option because is what is comfortable for them at the very least. Yo, not the song mm -hmm. select. Not, hey, not got the proper got song select. <laughs> got you, man. If, if, if you don't have the right music on the vibe, what are you doing? So CPU, the starter, will be in now in towards the middle. Traditionally, the Pac-Man player. See what they want to bring into this matchup with Sephiroth. Yeah, Pac-Man versus Sephiroth is going to be a battle of who can stay further away to an extent. You know, can that Pac-Man play it a little bit slower? Can that Pac-Man play it long distance with the side special and the neutral B and maybe the trampoline to play off stage? Because then Sephiroth can't do much. He's, he's an up-close-and-personal kind of guy. He's a CQC, some close-quarters combat kind of guy. But if Sephiroth can get in, negate any combo Pac-Man wants to bring to the table, it can be just as easy the other way with Sephiroth winning this very early on. I'm, I'm excited, Kat. I feel like this is really going to be where a team decides who wins this matchup right here. We're down one stock differential, but I feel like this should go pretty aggressively either way. The point is I think this will be dominant for someone, and then that sets their team up for greatness. All right, well, let's find out what that can do here to play a little bit of away. One stock advantage for CPU going into this one. Let's see if they can get it close before those final closers come out into the fray. This is going to be fascinating just due to the fact that Pac-Man, very similar to Sephiroth, is the type of character to thrive when they're in charge, when they're in the lead, and when they can be the dominant leading factor. So... To have that stock already kind of in your pocket due to the fact your teammate found it earlier is huge. I think that can be incredibly beneficial for CPU moving forward. Percival finds it, goes into the fire hydrant, and looks for a combo. Side special, excuse me, neutral special into that shield. Does not find the recovery, but 102 already online. Percival's just one good sword hit away from equalizing us right out the gate. This is CPU start to really give the space will come off that ledge and first of all not falling for any oh. shenanigans the upper to solidify even stocks now to this 170 percent has been acquired though yeah 70 percent could be a big make or break they find the hit onto the fire hydrant they send it out early and they want to look for that closer right off the back of it however pack back air the pack air comes out early on 
the neutral B charge will fight itself out. Honda Pack once again forces out the shield and 70%, 30% differential neutral B charge has to be jumped up and over. Oh, Ooh, I, I'm I like shocked you would shield there. I think that would have been a free stock if you went for the forward tilt, but I guess it's better to be safe than sorry after all, especially when you're kissing 100% on the board. Ellen goes out the wrong way. Neutral B charge comes out once again. They explode it on the ledge. Side special grabs the ledge and the recovery uses the iframes to get back on the stage. I like the long distance game we're seeing from personal right now, making it really hard for CPU to return to the fight. Yeah, this option coverage is crazy. CPU nowhere to go, nowhere to run. Sent up by the blast, and that is quite unfortunate. Oh? First of all, up by two. This feels like a disconnect. Yep. <laughs> Somebody just DC. Uh we're pulling a feed from them, so that would be the, yeah. That would be the players. So we'll see how that one gets. Well, no, wait. It has to be the other player because they we would have watched them DC if they yes, DC. Yes, so it had to be from the other side. It had to be from our uh, our pack player. Um, I don't know who was that we're watching. So unlucky. And I'm gonna be honest. I don't work with ECC super often. I don't know the rules on this, but that is like possibly the worst time to DC. I mean, that is you lose it. You're down to what was that one stock left, right? yep oh man oh man no bueno no bueno well well that's how it goes uh well you know we'll, we'll get a quick break in the action as we sort that one out uh we'll you know try to let you know behind the scenes what's going on when we get back in a couple minutes
Hey everybody, we are back. So it's up to the discretion of NYIT to choose whether or not that was going to be a forfeit from CPU or if they wanted to play it out. First of all, the good sport that they are has decided to play it out. They want to go to the two stocks, to the one stock. So we are getting the percentage reset, but not the stock reset. So Catwar, we're jumping back in, but not a full reset. Greg. Pac-Man. <laughs> All right, first we'll close the one off. They'll be looking pretty dang solid with the gang. Best uh, member of this team as well. So pretty good scenario to make this one a comfy, cushy 2-1 for them to try to close out this best of five grand final. But see if CPU has something to say about it. Take an extra stock and make it just that much easier for your closer. That uh, is Phantom the Bowser. If they do want to continue onto that character, they pull it out in two crew battles now. So I wouldn't be... Uh, wouldn't be super prone to think they'll, they'll switch it on up, but we'll see. You know, you never know. But of course, we got to get through this one before we get there in the first place. 82 even on both percentages. A chance really for CPU to take this one. Back to off stage. Uh, should recover. Oh, I love the Will attempt. Wait. not recover. Oh, my goodness. We we reset just for that. Just for a pack to fall off stage like that. Not not what you want to see, but a win is a win regardless. And I thought about it. It was, it was actually a, a kind of a buff for Sephiroth because he was already on his second stock at like 100 something. Yeah, it was 121. Yeah. yeah, so to reset it your second stock at zero. Massive W. Huge. Like, that's a big W for sure. So uh, yeah. secretly very well done by the Sephiroth there. And. All of a sudden, well, it is going to be. I don't know about secretly. I mean, yeah, true. Secretly to me, I didn't realize it. So. <laughs> it was a secret to me. Nobody yeah. told me, so I, I missed yeah, it. Yeah, valid. Yeah, yeah. Well, we get the two stock well. lead out of that one. Uh, that'll put Percival into okay. about with a closer, with uh, two stocks to their name. So, I mean, Percival, realistically, a player that is definitely capable of closing this one out right here. Yeah, and if not. The closer to step in for NYT should have the job done. So yeah, I would expect them to go two in after this one. But hey, the likes of Phantom, maybe this boy goes crazy. Yeah, Phantom. Phantom was going a little berserk earlier, going a little wild there on the Bowser. So there's definitely the sure. potential to turn things around. I mean, made that final shutout or that final match. Excuse me, not a shutout. Had it very close quarters, closer than I anticipated. And this was a. Uh... Yeah, this is fascinating. You know, we're already looking at Duville's possibly second loss. They won the first set, and they might go two losses in a row, which would then leave only one more for NYIT to just win this out 3-1. It's not the dominance we saw back in week two of the season, but a win is a win regardless. Yeah. Very, very true. And, of course, best of five going into the grand final. So there is the extra opportunity. This won't decide everything right now. Except let's put it perfectly if you are joining us recently. That we've reset a standard best of three after the initial one to one so so they played all season now to come into what is the finals of the playoffs looking at a best of five instead gives a little more oh, room hey, to Krom. work with and they huh. look for uh for the closer as well yeah Krom making his first appearance here in the grand final i can't believe how many characters we've gotten to see that is really exciting yeah that's part of the reason i don't traditionally enjoy crew battles is because sometimes you only see like three characters and that's not really that interesting but i'm excited phantom is the player in they're gonna bring out Krom this time instead of bowser so another heavy hitter that weighs you know not not nearly as much as bowser does but i wonder if the bad recoveries just like that are going to be a problem and I didn't even get to hypothesize it before it came to fruition. Phantom already losing that first stock. It's been completely tied up by Percival here in the stock department. Tied up. And that is not a great sign. If you're the closer here for Duville, the stuff that I was really working the stage right now. That bit of control. Try to step back in for Phantom and instantly get recountered. Be the distance uh, to separate yet again. So. Both trading blows. Ooh. Hard to trade, though, in this scenario. Yeah, very hard to trade. I mean, losing one stock that early on is nearly devastating because even if you do go on to two stock Percival here, you're going into a one stock disadvantage. I cannot stress how important those single stocks can be. We might learn that the hard way here. Oh, Phantom, a very well-timed shield. Does not want to go down early, especially to that up smash. Oh, and they recover oh, right my. into the neutral B charge. An explosive waiting for you around the corner. First of all, looking to three stock this. We're hitting with the landmine. He did. For real, he's playing snake for a second. <laughs> Stepped in and disappeared. This one looking significantly harder for the Duvial closer. Can they make it happen? Well, you got to get out of this one. Can they take this stock away from Percival? They've got him close. 130 on the ropes on the ledge here. But 
covered yet again by the likes of Percival. The absolute menace for NYIT has control of the neutral stage. will come out of shield. We'll force him and we'll send oh, no. him flying the eyes back. Or recovers quickly back to the ledge and will manage to sneak their way back into recovery. Yeah, had the strong hit on that, but unfortunately just wasn't strong enough. I love the counter through the neutral beat charge, but the forward smash was not found. Instead, it's a Very. short hop down air that takes that uh, Sephiroth up into the blast zone. Tied up one to one, Phantom nearly 100%, and that might even be the finishing blow, but not quite yet. Trying to get the read out of the approach, and it's the dash attack that wins NYIT. Their second of only three needed matchups. Incredibly well done, Kat. NYT will win out the matchup in crew battle number three by what is four stocks. A big most, gap into that so one. Far. Feels very, very good. Do they start to garner some control back? We got a new order from Uville. They brought out Nano first. Threw them off the K roll to play the Palutena. Looked pretty solid. But when we threw Percival into the middle for NYT, man, did it make a difference. It was heavy hitting incredibly heavy-handed looked like they were throwing some fisty cuffs around and they had a they had the brass knuckles on doing work yeah i say you know i never liked the best player in the middle but hey for first of all you know i'll make an exception took the words right out of my mouth Cal. i was gonna say the same thing they proved us wrong just like right on the spot there you know that the best player coming into the middle of that anchor taking one extra step forward makes an incredible difference for the team just dominates there a four stock victory in favor of nyit and going into this they're feeling good you won back to back you took all of the wind out of their sails and this is just really looking good for nyit to three one this right now they didn't lose this team back in week number two they're not trying to lose now yeah absolutely one thousand percent so the chance here for nyt to close this one up but you know it's grand finals it's the East Coast Conference. It's the run back from the regular season set. It, it's got to go to, to Battle 5, right? Oh, it's got to. Right? We got to go all the way, right? It feels inevitable at this point. We've got to run it all the way down to that final matchup. But unfortunately, I don't know if we're going to be seeing it yet. We've got the starters online. We're ready to see what they bring to the table. And could this be that momentum that do you Ville needs if they walk out and get smoked here in this first matchup i'm ready to i'm ready to wrap it i'm ready to send us home but really if if it's yeah i mean if, if they come out in two three stock matchup number one i i do not think i see that comeback okay okay i think that's i think that's pretty fair considering the fact that uh there is some control to be had i almost feel like nyt just i'll forget the middle throw Percival out of the front just get him let out them, there. Let them work through. You know what I mean? And by then, like, you're looking at them. They're on the ropes because they're down in the series. They're down in players. You get them down in, in the stocks, technically, right? Uh, we look forward towards players, though, to, to make it a little easier to decipher right. on the broadcast. Right. Like, it's going to be hard for those last those last players to, to get the job done. The mental is going to be against them. And knowing that to work against a player like Percival. So, and I say throw it out, get the job done. The only concern is, like, maybe getting counter -effect. Like, it's nice to have Percival able to step through right. Kind of to the Seth Roth and then uh, then find that sort of value. But uh, hey, man, we will see if NYT can wrap it up here in crew battle number four after the break. Don't go anywhere.
Hey there, everybody. Welcome back once again. Now, this is fascinating. NYIT sending in the DLT King on Little Mac, a character that can be very good or usually very, very bad. So I'm curious to see how well DLT can perform. Luckily enough, it's against Bowser Phantom. So it's a level of comfort in, in terms of being able to play out that center stage game. You don't have to worry about being taken off stage. Little, little boop to Bowser to get off. Yeah, you heavy hitter. Just make sure you don't get don't get back thrown and you're chilling. Yeah, oh my goodness. A big old Damn. smack from Lil Mac there in center stage. And Phantom coming out early. It feels like they're trying to take kind of that precedent that NYT set last time of sending out your heavy hitter early. But currently not working super well for Phantom. Smack's coming through. DLT King coming in He's to the building. roster for this crew battle and uh, is looking good. Let's just uh, say that. Yeah, dog, looking dog very looking successful right now. Phantom, typically the closer. And Will is not having the best time on the opening. You could say that much. Yeah, Phantom really was looking good in that closing position, but coming out a little early, it's cost them a stock already. Luckily enough, it, it feels like they're going to find the equalizer just around the corner. The get up dash attack is going to be found, and that should kill off the wow. platform. Tied up 2-2-2. Two to two. But with a 96% differential right now, Cat, I feel like Little Mac can at least squeak out one more before he even really takes that much damage. That's Shell Spin coming in handy, though. Finds 22 on the board. Forward Tilt is going to find some additional damage of its own. Can't find the confirmation. 130 on the board. And there it is. Say goodbye to Phantom. Second stock. One more stock for the likes of Phantom. And only 22% acquired for a Little Mackie. Macking and getting the cheese right now. Trying to send them off of the ledge. We'll uh -oh. get caught. Easy recovery, though. No worries. It all slides under the shell. And he's looking to make Bowser yield. He absolutely is. Wants to bring this turtle down early. And not far from being able to do so. 57% the dash attack through the blaze there. Very intelligent move. One that can cost you, but if done correctly, could buy you a heck of a lot of time. That should not kill as low as 56%, but I've seen crazier things happen, so I wanted to make sure. Somehow two frame catches Bowser right there off the ledge, and the pressure is stacking. Big ol' smack from Little Mac to seal the deal. That is DLT King winning with two stocks on the board. Yeah, I said it, and I'm sticking to it. Two stock win there. I think that essentially buys NYIT their victory. Dude. It's eight to six already. Where did DLT King come from? Homie's just they living in the wings. They were chilling. They were winning without him. They said we gotta seal the deal. DLT King 25. Let them know one time. And not just show it up. DLT King. Off. Let them know. You know what I'm saying? No, uh, Lil Mac kind of kind of easy. That's true. That's true. Lil Mac. Lil Mac. Uh, okay, this makes probably the most sense. Um, probably the simplest but most effective move to bring in CPU next. Uh, Pac Man versus Lil Mac. You can keep Lil Mac off stage for absolutely absurd amounts of time. And Lil Mac, right. as I'm sure we all know, cannot live off stage for more than maybe four seconds. So it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> four? To, to, dude, four feels generous. Dude, four, four is generous. too many. Homie, homie tanks his recovery one time and it's like, no, you four won. is too many, respectfully. Uh, you can live off stage for like. A four is like the time it takes you to fall. True, true. You know I'm saying? If you're on stage time, for yeah. more than one second, it's like, <laughs> I will see you later, bro. Like, it was nice knowing you. Like, yeah, GLHF. See you next Christmas. You know what shake I'm saying? Shake my hand. Yeah, absolutely. Like, <laughs> I have to shake my hand moment. But I've got to wonder, is it going to be that classic pack play style of just barraging this guy with those neutral special moves? Gotta just be. constantly pestering down with that forward smash, with that um, fire hydrant, with the neutral B charge, with the side special. There's so many ways to deconstruct a Mac with pack and... I've got to wonder if we're going to see it. The stage we're ending up on is PS2 once again. Not the least bit surprised to see it, but I'd be amazed if Pat Mac can get much done here. He's got two stocks to work with. Finding even one is the name of the game. Finding two or even three puts NYIT into such a good spot. All right, I see DLT can Mac it up with the pac -Man. Keep uh, even walking through the maze. Iron Spike will dissipate now. The neutral stage owned by the Mac early. Something the Pac-Man just to dodge. Play, play a little dance game and not get caught oh. by the jabs. So we're going to get caught by a big one there. Very, very, very well done. Trying to find that stock early on. Now falls a little bit short, but it hasn't cost them at least not yet. Another forward smash comes out early. 
100% already onto CPU in the time that DLT is taking 35% and DLT is doing something so smart but so so in crucial and that's just playing oh. center stage tanking that fire hydrant out early in the DLT King just farming himself a little highlight reel to put the bow on top of this victory so far has the KO punch online does not even need it 40% already up to 50 and the KO just around the corner DLT King 50% on the board oh, and no got it punch. locked and loaded KO expended does go awry, so at least you have that going for you for the pack, man. Unfortunately, he got hit by his own cheese. The, oh. the hydrant sent to him off the ledge. We just be chilling? DLT, you know, I like that for DLT. The call out, hey, man, I see the way you're dodging me. Come step to me one time, see what happens. Yeah, it's smart because Mac is fully aware. I don't have to go to you. You have to come to me to win this. I'm already up in the percentiles here. I've equalized the stocks and I'm going to win center stage. Pac is, wants to see this happen off stage, but little Mac clearly smart enough to not be sending it. However, gets caught out by that pack grab, misses the lightning, and Yo, barely clean. makes it back up onto stage. Incredible spacing there to make sure they walk away from that engagement. But the forward smash sends him off stage once again. The pressure builds. Oh, walks oh, the into timing, the recovery. Man. The tie of these recoveries coming through from the Mac is going to get caught with the Force Master. Will fall. That's one stock swiped away from DLT. One to play with and a chance to take a second off CPU here. Chance to take that second stock just around the corner. But DLT King down to their third and final stock of the matchup. I'd love to see them take this one off a pack and just hand NYIT that victory they've been looking for. The Orange going to miss it off ledge. Misses the shot. The two frame not even to be found. Runs away from the grab. Goes in for the punish and finds it in the blink of an eye. Puts Pac-Man down to their third and final stock. And DLT King could still win this if they play their cards yeah. right. Yeah, that's the craziest thing. DLT's already swiped three stocks and is trying to swipe away three more here to open up this one. It's caught themselves oh. back in the middle. KO meter. This punch could be absolutely devastating if they can get it out. CPU is throwing all the pressure on oh. and not let it come. And the a smash will come through. So no KO punch to be seen. But CPU, I'm looking around and I don't see your other two stocks. Oh. Yeah, absolutely. Wants to bring out the KO punch, turns into CPU's little KO lunch and does get taken down. But five stocks out of the three is very, very good. That is now four stocks to six, yeah. I believe. So we've yep. got two members left standing on the side of NYIT. And for them to bring out someone we didn't even see in the first three sets and they come out and do that. I mean, come on. They're, they are looking good to win this. Said, so put me in, coach. For real? Well, they, they, they put him in and he... It was it was electric. They put him in and he took him out. Yeah, thank you, thank you, DLT, for your time. And then you have to think like the likes of Percival is still floating around here. Percival is a player that we know can take stocks of their own. Can walk away with four for sure. So I'm scared if that sneaks out into the the middle of this set now. And then you get the chance to counter pick this pack as well. We'll see. I'm interested to see what NYT would like to step in. Yeah, would like would like to step into this one. Yeah, they've got to bring a little bit of the sauce here to counter out this pack. Now, luckily enough, it's one stock, so it's it's pretty achievable. It's pretty doable. And that oh, is player? not, I was going to say, that is not new player a player dropped. we've seen yet. New player just dropped once again. So NJIT, they're just having giggles at this point. They're just sending in anybody. I, I mean, they're <laughs> just bringing in characters we have not seen at all so far. But I got to say, I like it a lot. I think it's a lot of fun, and I think it brings out a weird kind of uh, soul read in the sense of like, We've seen you play, but you have not seen us play, not yet at least. Ty Squared busting it out. Yeah, they're hitting them with the the Jimmy Fallon man on the street interview. They said, hey, do you play Smash? Wait, what? I have a... Do you play Smash? I forgot I had a microphone. I could just... <laughs> did you I hand it? Used... I missed it. Did you hand it? Well, I, I just forgot. Like, I, I did like this with a pen. Oh, I, I see. I have I a see. mic. I could have just like... I feel you know you what I'm feel saying? You. Like, I could just I'm point a mic to pick up my mic because my mic's notably cheaper than yours. <laughs> I'm afraid one of these days I'm going to pick it up and it's going to break. But I'm going to leave it here for now. I used to have this, uh, I used to have this like $20 Amazon mic and it would like sound like a fishbowl. Like, uh, I will say, I do like my mic. Like, it's... you could like do this. Yeah. Oh, it yeah. It would sound like it was rattling inside of it. Like, Ooh. it would sound like this. Every, Hopefully like, literally, not. I'm not even trolling. I would be like, I'd be talking. It'd be like, and it would sound like it would sound like this. the smallest sound <laughs> in the like, room stop. is just constantly picked up. I feel that, man. I feel that. That's real.
That's really how it went. The, 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 the starting went. out caster mic struggle is such a real and relatable thing for all <laughs> of us. And now look, look, we made it. Look, now right, look we, where we, we are. got we the light. It. We got the. This mic was one hundred and twenty-six dollars. Okay, I mean that's that's still like the cheapest mic I know of. That's pretty still kind like of low key. No nah, man, that's pretty good though. I like this mic was like like twenty bucks. For real, shut up. Get out of here. This mic was like twenty bucks, bro. He's bluffing. He's bluffing, chat. No, no, for real, twenty bucks. He's gaslighting me. Cheap. Uh, it's called the. It's called the, the cheap twenty the, bucks mic. The for sure, SM eight B. The nice. for, the definitely. for sure. Definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's the it's the knockoff. <laughs> the knockoff. Yeah, the knockoff. That's just as good in quality. Actually. The for sure. <laughs> for sure. For sure. That's a banger. That is a banger. No one would get that one, but that's I that concur. is a banger joke. Certified, Catalan's <laughs> banger right there. Oh. Seven oh, that now. We're, we're shipping. We're shipping. Oh, yeah. Seven I'm bored. Seven we're waiting. Go hard, we're waiting for the like, game to start. It's like, uh, it's too easy. Like, I feel taking you. it going I like, you, like on that. you know what I mean? It's, it's too, too easy, easy, but it, fl it flows so nice. It does. So Seppinator like, kind of goes hard, TBH. I'm kind of hip on it. We're waiting. I guess there's a confirmation check on the... We're actually trying to see if, like, people have yeah, HDMI cables or if they're up. using DisplayPort into if the monitor. So yeah, that's what we're checking for right now. they're goofing on it. We're trying to see a if little they're bit playing of TV or, or monitor. Yeah, we're trying maybe. To do. Oh my goodness, I'm blanking on the CRV TV. Those itty yeah. bitty guys. Yep. Yep. We're trying to see if they're playing uh they're playing with a GameCube controller or not. So I'm actually playing with a Wii remote. I'm using tilt <laughs> controls. Bro, um, I, I usually play guitar, so Oh, the, like, the guitar hero guitar? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. crazy. So That's play. a classic. That's a classic. Which is why I'm sure. so bad and definitely not for any other reason. Yeah, I actually use Joy Cons, but I only use one. I'm just a single Joy Con oh. kind of guy. Oh, we get a little weird with it over the I, I used to play Joy Cons, but that's I play I play like the Lil Mac Joy Con. You ever seen that, that video? The Lil, no, the Lil Mac I don't, on land? Going, no, I don't think so. Like, like Oh yes, no, no, I did see that. That was me. That. that that was me. That is cat, that's true. He's telling the truth on that. But that was a couple years ago, and back then I was I was white, so it would make oh, sense. Wow, fascinating. Yep. Yeah. Interesting cycle. Yeah, so I was like young and, and white back then, so it makes sense. Like person, I I too have been young and white, so that is very relatable. <laughs> well, to me. Hey. I, I I have hey, been young and white, before, me, so I mean, that's <laughs> pretty pretty cool, right? I I'm only the whitest person that I know in in the literal complex, you, complexion you know. sense. I'm I'm the only <laughs> caster I've ever known of that the the production needs to color correct my skin, so I'm not too white. That's I'm the only Bro. person I've ever had that problem. <laughs> it's it's a very yeah. real struggle. Yeah, it's a pain. It's a pain. For sure. I'm so sorry, man. It's okay. I just gotta get I'm better so lighting, you. probably. That's probably the real answer. But yeah, you got the know. overhead lights on. My feelings are still hurt a little all. bit. Yeah, because I turn them off. I'm in like the void. It's it's too dark in here. All <laughs> I have is a little ring light out here. Oh, I gotta, I gotta improve and then my whole make it like setup, your, man. It'd be like hitting your glasses like this. Straight up. Straight up. Like yeah, even you like can the, already see the ring light. Just in my the glasses. regular screen. Yeah. Be reflect reflect elected. What's the overrun of that chi squared plays Joker? I was kind of wondering that too. The name Kai Squared makes me feel like they're going to play like Pyramithra just because the squared okay. thing or like Ice Climbers or like somebody that has like the duality of man situation going on. But uh, okay. I feel like we're not going to see that. Maybe it is Joker. I'd be excited to see a Joker. He's he's pretty common in well, the DLC Well, that's like the, world, the, the icon is Joker, you know? Yeah. We've seen, but I think everyone's icon today has not been who they play, if I'm pretty if I'm pretty sure about that. Yeah, but like the eSports e is like sharing a, a Switch. True, so, true. That's that true. doesn't count. Like, you, you know what I mean? I bet they would play Shadow if he was putting the game. I'm just putting that out there. Real. Free Shadow the Hedgehog. He deserves the his time in the spotlight. Darn it. No, I'll put Knuckles in the game after the Sonic True. movie, bro. Knuckles, Knuckles was cool. And have Idris Elba still voice him in the video oh game. Oh my, bro. bro that I'm a was huge Idris actual Elba heat. Fan. People were hating. Um, oh, that was heat. bad take. Bad take. That's, I'm saying. I'm saying. I liked it. It gave it did something for me. It uh dude, Idris Elba's gonna be in the 95 Cyberpunk. Ninety five percent of the time it was doing something for me. Did you see that? Idris Elba in the Cyberpunk DLC? I did see that. I Crazy. did see that. And right, I've never even played Cyberpunk. I'm going to because Idris Elba's gonna be in it. That's how I much don't I like it. Understand him. that. Bro, I, I'm a big Idris Elba fan. Prod wants Waluigi. Oh, again. based. Why wouldn't Prod tell me that? My feelings are hurt a little bit. Well, they of that. did. It's the same chat that you and I can Oh, see, see, smile. I'm in the other <laughs> chat. I'm in the so other chat. So they did. Actually, they did tell us that. I'm in the player at the chat, same time. actually. That's my bad. That's crazy. That's and me. that is not Joker. That's not Joker. We're 0 for like 100. <laughs> yeah, we'll Lucas, never win. Which is cool. I feel like we never really get to see Lucas. So I am <laughs> eager to see how that kind of 
comes to fruition, so to speak. Lucas v Pac-Man. It's going to be really fascinating, especially when you've only got one stock in your back pocket here. It's going to be a lot harder to land these combos onto Lucas. He's a very quick little sneaky guy. He might be able to get in your back line before you even notice he's there. Like that. See, the bat into the fire hydrant, it's clever, but the bat can hit literally any projectile pack busts out here. So you need to value every every moment. Is it worth throwing this, or is it just going to get whacked right back at me? Real. On the platform, into the combo, into the sky. Bro, is it actual juggling ball? Dog tried to soul read that bat. Did you see that? That was so bold, but... But it would have been crazy, I mean, though. A for effort. That would have been a highlight if I've ever seen one. Grabbing a back throw. Lucas still has him on the ropes here. It's only one stock. I mean, you can go into the full matchup with six to three stocks. It's exactly what you want to see if you're on the side of NYIT. But got to say, do you build this pack doing a good job? That works on a lot of folks. Nice. And Pac-Man will be one of them. Very simple, incredibly effective, and it gets the job done. NYIT bringing in their Lucas, who takes that matchup. Blink and you miss it. And now, six stocks to three stocks. NYIT, this Lucas, one matchup away, one three stock away from being the reason NYIT wins these grand finals. Nato. That's pretty based. My boy. What, what are we going to do about this? We got, Nato. we've seen Nato on the K rule. We've Ooh. seen Nato on the Palu. Palu went crazy. I'm Does pro Palu. on Deepa? The world may never know. It depends what they bring out. We're going to find out in just a moment here. Is it going to be that Palu Tana that we saw? Is it going to be the, um, not the Bowser, um, the, why am I blanking? We just said it. The, um, the K rule? The K rule? K rule, thank K -Rule? you. Okay. I keep mixing up the heavies. Earlier I called Bowser K rule. I'm calling K rule Bowser now. I don't know what's going on in my noggin. Can't I don't know what winners, he does, bro. but it's going to be. It's going to be interesting. So, Lucas, I'm thinking... I keep saying that because I keep, I keep like, theory crafting in my keep head. Thinking. Lucas, I think, just beats the snot out of K. Rule. He's got the answer to the everything snot. K. Rule can bring to the table. Like, it is going to be incredibly hard for K. Rule to get any value in that matchup. But Palutena, she can run it down the Nair train. She can get a little saucy with it. She can get a little creative. But it's the PT. The Pokemon trainer that nobody expected to PC. Here he comes oh. early out here. Ooh, I mean, okay. this is going to be a matchup I did not anticipate. Squirtle v. Lucas. Lucas really might have... Oh, no, starting in the Ivy. That's not a choice I like, actually. I think Squirtle would have done a really good job just constantly comboing out Lucas, preventing him from finding any value. All right, Nato hitting there. Third fighter we've got to see here in this best of five series. And, man, it's got to be crazy. Not going to be able to get off of it now. And they've got six stocks they've got to run through. Now it got to be perfect, got to be precise, and got to be effective. Can they get it done? And I can't even lie. Ivy Sword just goes crazy on Wi-Fi. I can't be too judgmental of this pick. But it's still a risky one. There's no doubt about that. Comes out early. 52 to 65. So Kai squared already in the lead. Finds the spike right down into the side of the stage. Unfortunately, gets caught out on the ledge. So not exactly Ooh, what the they bat. wanted to see. But they get it done. Here comes the PK Thunder off stage. Ivy Sword tries to grab ledge. Has to swap to Charizard. Should make it back with a down Stop air. Play Just with seals the deal. Kai squared does not Kai care about what you want to do here. Do you, Vil, on the ropes right now? This guy just ripping through them. Yeah, Kai squared... No stocks to Kai spare. That no, is for nice. sure. Letting them know about it, man. That bat, that deflect that came through off the projectile instantly to go to ledge, but instantly thrown to the rooftops. Nato will take back a star KO. It'll be two and two. So a trade will come back through, and Nato got to be efficient here. Already on a 50 HP or 50 percentage, excuse me, for what is going to be the second stock. And still getting pretty smeat up, which is not going to be a great sign because you've got so much work to get done here. Yeah, that's never where you want to be. The PK Thunder comes out early. The Lightning Kick follows not far behind, and the pressure already stacking against Nato. They want to get so much done, but so far they haven't been able to do much other than Nata. Brings out that E early. I love the Lightning Pull there. The um, Projectile E, that's another stock off the board, and Kai Squared is now a single stock away from winning this out for NYIT in a 3-1 fashion. Did you switch up? Squirtle online and offline oh. all the same. Offline, off screen, off everything. They are completely off, gone. Off uh, from the championship attempt. They'll look at a second place and will be NYT in a dominant fashion. Almost need a, to invent a new word. 
for how, Seriously. how absolutely overwhelming. They need to change their name from been. NYIT to NICE. I mean, they are just looking good out there, clean as a whistle, <sighs> looking incredibly nice. And it's it's been it's been real seeing them get to dominate that. I believe they made it to Grands last year. I can't off the dome remember if they won, but I feel like they did. And maybe they're looking at the two Pete here, but it's going to unfortunately not be the same story as every every bracket has to go. Somebody has to be that winner. They do. That they do, and it'll be the likes of uh, the Cy Bears. They've come through. The New York squad has sealed the deal. They'll go up 3-1, and we'll see if we can get a, a brief little moment to speak to them about how their season went through. In the fact, they came through and won here in the East Coast Conference. We'll see if we can make that happen for you guys. We'll be back in just a moment.
What is going on, everybody? And welcome back just one more time here as we wrap up Smash Ultimate for the split. We are joined now by the saucy swordsman Sephiroth player himself, known as Percival, who came out, I believe, found eight stocks in his match, seven stocks, one of the two. Either way, it was a lot. So, Percival, my first question, a little bit less about you and a little bit more about you guys as a team. You lose the first set, something you guys have not done all season. You haven't dropped a series the entire way through. You lose by a single stock or two stocks, I believe, in that first set. So how did the mental change going into sets two through four? What did you do differently to come out on top all those times in a row? So we are all been busy just with school and not many of us have been practicing a lot. We all immediately just after losing that first one, we just went, no, we're going in hard and we're going to go hard. <laughs> my player, who was the plant, was like, I got my K rule. My K rule's feeling saucy. And he went in there. And, and it was. Just, it was very <laughs> saucy. And that just followed through with all the rest of the players because we're a team and we all right. felt that first loss. And we're like, no, we're going to go in there and go kick some butt. Definitely. For sure. For sure. So you talk about the fact that a uh, first seed, a false regular season, is there a stress there for you guys? The final season's approaching. Of course, playing in East Coast Conference and other conferences as well. Is there stress and how does the roster mitigate that stress? So we all do because we have our own different ways of stress, whether it be for me, I like to do a little bit of meditation because I'm in medical school and I have to couple medical school with this stuff. And that's crazy. My friends doing yeah. projects, architectures, we're all doing a lot wow. of big stuff. So we just find the time when we can to play and we kind of use that little bit of our own de-stressor, play some other games, talk with each other, make some jokes and just go chill into things because if we get mad we play worse yeah sure. absolutely i love that you guys can even recognize that we see that happen with a lot of teams you know they get lost in the sauce they got some tunnel vision and it can give them a loss but you guys did a phenomenal job so percival just one more question for you before we wrap up the season for ssbu is there anybody you want to use this time to give a thank you or a shout out to while you're here with us i want to give a proper shout out to our manager and director eric who is in the room right here he was the one who kept nice. my head cool and calm when i was getting a little bit heated as well as the rest of my team with me in the room and our new players Yay. omen and kai squared who both did amazing this season omen does not want to go on camera and that's totally no. fine but he was a wonderful player throughout the rest of the season and i'm excited that he's on the team because he's a newbie yeah. but he is a good player Absolutely. same with kyle yeah, you guys tore it up. I don't think we saw a player out there today that we weren't absolutely impressed by. But Percival, a huge, huge, huge congrats on this grand finals victory. We cannot wait to see what you guys do in the next season. We're going to come back and we're going to try our best to win again. That's what we're going to do. I believe it, my friend. We will see you then. And with that, folks, thank you all so much for watching the SSBU portion. We're going to throw it to a super short break and then we'll be right back with the Overwatch 2 grand finals. We'll see you soon.
What is going on, everybody? And welcome back. Smash Ultimate out of the way. A 3-1 victory. We are jumping into Overwatch 2. Now, things are a little confusing. You're going to see NYIT again. That's correct. It is the same school. Yeah. It is the right team. It's the Overwatch 2 squad. They are rocking and rolling here. They 3 0 to their opponents way back in the main season. They want to try to do it again, Cat. Mm -hmm. We're in a traditional Overwatch best of five. We're starting it at one of my favorites. One of your favorites? Yes, sir. Interesting, except one's been in the game for forever, made it over to the, uh, the second rendition. Tell me why it's your favorite. Well, as you know, and I don't know how many people watching know, I play one DPS character usually. And it begins, begins with the J, you rhymes do. with Junkrat, you know, yeah, a little bit of the J, silly, my boy, but he, he gets a lot of value, and if you haven't guessed it by now, this map is going to be Li Zhang Tower, so this will be super exciting, this is going to be a map where Junkrat can get a lot of value, but even when he can't, some characters I really like still can, we can see Faro, mm -hmm. we can see Echo, we can see Tracer, and I believe Sojourn, Tracer, and Echo, as the season kind of settles, those will be our primary DPS that we will see throughout yeah. the rest of this uh, current season number two. The tank division, probably Doomfist or Roadhog. Maybe, oh, man, I'm so excited. maybe an Orisa Diva, but those feel more like comfort picks than meta picks. And then the support line, it is still Kiriko Lucio. If you want to, you can try a Mercy, but of course, running Mercy is always a little difficult. Cat, though, these teams don't need to hear it from me. They know what's up. They made it all the way here. Staten Island and NYIT, ready to go toe to toe in this best of five Overwatch 2 series. Yeah, this will be an interesting one. I. Personally, I'm really excited watching forward. I think it's been awkward for the, the collegiate scene, right? Looking at what was that very successful meta competition before Definitely. we got like what was just an, a Genji nerf then to come through into the new season and see everything really shake out. You talk about how effective Doomfist looks now, but uh, how good Roadhogs can be uh, and how successful Roadhogs are when you get a Kiriko behind them and it's easy Suzu. It means the, the uh, Anna counterplay doesn't work because they're consistently getting Suzu'd off of what would be an anti situation. Like There right. is so much value coming into tanks this season. It, it just makes playing tanks so fun. Like I was somebody that for season one would only play DPS. I now has been strictly in the tank queue because it is so much fun just to pummel squishies, man. And it's just, it feels so easy to do at times as well. We'll get instantly the look into the road hall would look almost a doom fist we said to go the arisa instead i think that the uh the arisa pick is fantastic as a road hog counter because you can right. get so far in his face he can't hook anything so there'll be value there it's actually also on the nyit valorant squad as well so yes. multi-game multi-sport athlete love to see it absolutely and staten island bringing out junkrat early on the orisa gonna do really well at javelining the roadhog back after he successfully finds a hook onto one of their teammates it's an adija that goes down early that reaper falls a lot of damage off the table for new york tech and that Re roadhog trying to find some value but he gets caught out of the corner cringe falls to that reaper and staten island should have this fight in the bag pretty early on now new york tech did 3-0 staten island last time these teams went head to head if i understand correctly what i heard from fraud so it's interesting to see them already able to win this first fight they're establishing a dominance early on of Li Zhang tower yeah i'm really telling you this, this arisa pick has the potential to really play spoiler to anything nyt wants to do today like arisa is the most annoying tank in this godforsaken game like the the ability for her to barrel stuff like you see it's are stuck so far to the corner nothing to get done so we great looks early into this first fight there'll be a regroup early for nyt no switches after the initial deaths yeah, no swaps after the initial deaths with this Junkrat getting a lot of farm damage here. This is why he gets so much value on this stage. It's all close corridors and close is what he needs to thrive. He gets hooked out, but still lives to tell the tale. Incredible support coming from Staten Island's Bioactive and the noob Roadhog tries to make it out. Reaper going to get traded, but that is a trade Staten Island is more than happy to put down on the table. That tank missing NYT that's cannot a, do much. That's a big bit of stagger time too. Absolutely. It's a bit of time for that road goes down. They're going to switch over to an Arisa of their own. Pretty late, a second fight gonna be where they call to make that swap, and the uh, ult won't get out into this one. So the ult's gonna be awkward going forward. Tire's already out for Exile. He'll stall for a, a lot of time onto this one. Could have big impact going through. We'll come all the way around here towards lobby. Uh-oh, no, I think he goes too far. He's gonna be able yeah. to get it in time. The tire will detonate, and that will be unfortunate. But you made a lot of space, and you terrified New yeah. York Tech. You got the necessary job done to help your team feel a little more comfortable. Their research comes out early from Weiss, when Sven finds Exile, the one trade turns oh. into a two-piece. Sven has overclocked and overcharged, overcommitted into the fight, but the team is there to clean them up. Lucio oh. down and out. The noob disappears, and New York Tech winning that fight on the shoulders of Sven. That is fantastic spacing from Sven. Very much so. Through the ultimate, like all the focus in the front, and allows at least the full backline that situation. Sven able to pick up three off of what is going to be the ultimate. 
for the soldier and now they get so much room in towards hallway realize that nyt they know they need a whole lot of space they got to play for quite a bit of percentage here early into the first capture point and looking to do just that want to find early value and it looks like they're going to be able to get Sune rush comes like out the there's rush nothing connect. to answer there's the beat the terror surge in the back line is a lot of damage jug will fall straight up by Sven instantaneously we is going to be taken out of the fight 3v4 in favor of new york tech and the resurrection comes through they've got all five members up and running once again a fight that could have been flippable for staten island is immediately losable as that resurrection comes to fruition all five members up and standing in staten island stuck back in spawn that push pretty far back into this one will be the blossom online a bit of time before we get a chance at a nano blade we'll see if that sneaks its way out for Staten island here so they immediately are looking to push their way back forward they've gotten spacing to at least the front port of this choke they've beat the hallway control at the very least got rid of this blossom though so they all start to stack up oh the blossom comes out and it works wonders that is a three piece in favor of new york tech once again three. they have re-established their dominance they use the reaper ult to cover the resurrection onto a reset oh. as well and they find the fifth and final member on their way out the door the team kill new york tech they win the fight but cat the scenario they're in any fight they lose is a stage lost i can we'll get that nano gone away so we've got the blade coming into this one We've got to look for an overclock in just a moment. That disruptor and the damage it does, very helpful. Terror search out early. Hasn't really cleared much room towards hallway either. And oh. we all have dominant Sven oh. to be in that back line. It's just terrifying. Sven goes down early and finds an elimination. Exile pulls the blade. The javelin spin finds it once again. It's Staten Island. I say a fight lost is a stage lost. And I think that may tell true in just a moment. 13 seconds so. for New York Tech to recontest. And most of them have not even spawned yet. They swap onto the ball. There's no Lucio oh, in I don't sight. Get there. I don't think they do, Cat. It would be a miracle for them to make it even with the oh, Wrecking Ball close. in their pocket. They're trying to force him back. He's 5 HP. Nice He's javelin away, and that will be the stage lost. Staten Island finding stage number one, looking for stage number two to take Li Zhang Tower over New York Tech. Hey, for a second there, New York Tech started to walk that one back. Yep. Able to get themselves deep into hallway, help for so much control. The rush to solidify it as well. Staten Island just confident. Know that Arisa forward eat all of the damage mitigation up front to walk the team back through the choke, and that blossom could have gone a much different way, but recovers quickly. And you got to give credit to the ability for them to group to set that one back up yet again. Shut down the overclock so early with the blade of their own to make sure that that DPS from Sven doesn't have the value it needs to try to keep that point under their control. Right. I mean, the one fight that was necessary for Staten Island to win, or excuse me, to, for New York to win, came off the shoulders of Sven putting down, what, a 4K, I think? Uh, a 4K in a single fight. So it's like uh, clearly... Yeah, 3K into what it was his ult. Yeah, it's, it's like clearly you want to negate the value she brings out early on, and it yep. was pretty well done by Staten Island. I think you hit the nail right on the head here, Cat. The noob out of the Lucio once again. Bioactive out of the Baptiste. So Cranch has already fallen to a great traveling from Weiss that may have been right off the map, may have just been into the wall, but either way, it is an elimination. You see the Symmetra turrets from Exiled. Symmetra, one of my favorite characters in the game. It's going to work really well because Doomfist can't jump into the point. Those yep. turrets will slow him down. Yeah, that's a great point to bring up because we just saw it, right? The excites where I go pretty deep there, expecting the chance to get out. I mean, one sim turret alone is basically half of your movement speed. You throw yep. a second, a third on there, and I mean, you are stuck in the mud. It is quicksand trying to get to the point. So, immediate switch from Recise Rare trying to play this Arisa. I think Weiss plays a better Arisa, at least it's proven so early. Yes. So, that could make it difficult trying to play into this mirror match tank wise. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about the mirror matchup, if I'm being honest. I think I can see the logic on why they would do it, but that doesn't necessarily mean I think they should. Right. Um, this is going to be really difficult just in terms of losing the matchup. Maybe even bring out a Sigma here. It would be weird, but it could be viable. Go ahead and try a D.Va, something unusual. Oh my well goodness, Exile team. backline. Exile just farming into the backline. TP's in, finds a two-piece to help the team squander any hope or dream they had of losing that fight. Cringe falls late, and now Staten Island, they win it once again. I mean, Kat, if they get ready to walk away with this, I I'd be shocked. I really like to to hype, to hype highlight moments like that. I mean, it's, it's kind of cringe to the name to, to, to hype up him jumping off the map, but... Your whole team's call, though, dead. Don't right. get staggered, bro. Please just die. Like, please yeah. just die. We'll regroup. We'll take it together. And now we'll have a chance to go back in this fight as a unit. We're looking at ults online first for Staten Island. Immediately going to throw the baffle. Looking to try to take out the Sarissa, but she's already stuck into the back line. Only player back here, oh. though, is the only problem. Sven to pick up one overclock. Look at her. Look at her. Somebody look at her. Sven in the back line. The Sojourn just dominating. Helps the team find a three piece to boot and Reaper. No cooldowns nice. online. The barrage is weird for sure, but a win is a win regardless. And they put that fight win on the board. New York Tech 70. 1%. God, if they lose this upcoming fight, this map could just be over. That's a solid old combo coming through with what is 
the far rockets to come towards the back the sven overlock to come to the front you say look at her look at her everyone's too busy trying not to get rocketed bro no one's checking for sven and allows for the opportunity in the back line so a good dps ult combo leaves me everything else still to go back into this one this defense will have the rush they'll have that terror surge as well same story for Staten island those ults weren't able to get up to have value to descend that last point because of the two dps ults to come out early enough exiled going to stay alive unfortunately they try to make a tp play tp late unlucky really oh. we're able to find the terror surge opportunity rush now online as well for new york tech to try to win this fight new york tech wants to win the fight and they a lot of ultimates used from staten island but they were not used in the correct order even photon barrier did not get the necessary value so they throw it all out with the kitchen sink exile gets one out the door but i'm not sure it's going to be enough it feels more for bragging rights than a real fight dominance unless you pick up two looking better and better here bioactive has fallen the sim still alive on the point my goodness exile just dominating the matchup yep. long enough for the team to return nobody looked at the sim and she charges her uh, her beam 20 percent faster now in this newest patch and clearly that 20 percent makes all the difference exile finally falls but yeah is it too little too late things are looking great here new york tackle trying to so. restabilize disruptor field on the board jug probably gonna pop that ult waiting for it on the corner but no it was a bait trying to find a support ultimate instead it's now tied up 71 to 71. I mean, the timing over that Diva steps in. Only thing is now out of mech. There it is. And now the Blossom can come online. Going to pick up one. No second, though. Sven has traded two back with his two clean taps. And neither of those ones are going to come out of the ult either. Just makes it happen on just the Railgun charge alone. Able to farm long enough onto what was that mech to be broken down. So value there. We got a squishy fight on its way. On the point right now, the Diva will be back just in the same timing as the Orisa. So we got Tilt Tanks touching the point right now. Still going to be in the favor of Staten Island, so a Q percentage. Just uh, New York Tech will set completely out of this one. Going to regroup. Possibly the Diva Bomb going through middle of the point. Yeah, now 93 to 82. New York Tech, like you said, Diva Bomb online. Death Blossom, Kitsune, and that overclock not far behind. Luckily enough, they didn't pop the bomb. They get Javelin first. The recontest has to come through early. Death Blossom oh, gets God. headshot. Doesn't even get to farm it. The bomb is on site. It finds squad, but the rematch gets dug on its way out the door. The Reaper Resurrection has returned. The Death Blossom there in the back pocket of New York Tech, and it looks like it's going to work wonders. Overclock finds one of their own as well. 18% left on the clock, and it looks like NYT might be able to snatch it back. This is a huge moment, Cat. 18 seconds, no ultimates. Can they prevent the touch? Oh, just got to make sure you don't get weast on, right? Right. That surge as it come through doesn't pull focus. And we see gunning it on down to get here. Time runs shorter, about seven seconds. The difference between them and this victory picked up. We's going to step forward. The rest of the squishies will step in the back line. He's gotten here, has thrown the surge, does it pick oh! up value, it does, it's the Mercy dead. They've oh, also got no. the main DPS, the Sojourn, off the map as well. This is devastating here, the Mercy missing, the Sojourn already falling as well, and NYT, they get so close, but close, just not gonna cut it. You've gotta win these fights out, you've gotta win these matchups, and as we see Staten Island already at 99, there is no turnaround, there is no recontest, oh! if there is, it's a miracle run, just like that, it'll be canceled in the blink of an eye, and Staten Island, by the skin of their teeth, but a win is a win regardless, Lee Jang Tower 2-0. Staten Island. Cat, they have already rewritten history. They were 3 0'd by New York Tech last time they went head to head, and this time, different stories ready to be told. Man, I gotta think that one look off of the Kitsune headshot, I feel like is the difference, man. I feel like they come through, shuts down the Reaper, shuts down the ult that would have come through, it. disrupted, absolutely crippled the back line, wasn't able to happen. Absolutely. Uh, destroyed the chance for the take and i think just threw too far nyt off of timing we're able to get back in we're able to take point because of it so big looks like that man the reason kiriko is so valuable i feel like have i mean two taps with the blades is enough to kill right and yep. then having so much value healing as well and the fact that uh with the, the timing of your heal you can still get max heal and consistently throw out one blade per every two taps right so consistently throwing it out throwing it out and finding value so Good stuff early from Staten Island, but still pretty close for what, what is a 2-0 there is pretty close for, for both the agree. end of those point caps. I can agree. Kiriko gets nerfed in a lot of ways. She gets a lot of quality of life changes and things feel a little more difficult to play her, but the nerfs weren't enough to remove her from the meta. That Kitsune Rush, sure. unbelievably strong. It reduces all cooldown reduction by two times. I believe it was lowered from three to two this time and now does not get a 50% speed boost, but a 30%. However, even it's a 30% so speed boost so and a two time cooldown reduction. For the hard. whole team, bro? Like, come yeah, on. Yeah, it, it goes insane. Team? 
it's nano boost times five. It, it really is. Yeah. I mean, it's pretty incredible. It does not give you the damage boost, but the cooldown reduction and the faster fire rate essentially offers the enough. same thing when you look yeah. at it. So there's yep. a lot of variables to be looked at there, a lot of changes to be made, but none enough to shake Kiriko out of the meta directly. A very strong character, one that is not going anywhere, no matter what our next map is going to be. I Unfortunately, I think it's hybrid or escort next. It's yeah, it's hybrid. Two. It's hybrid, hybrid coming up third. next. Yep. And this is going to be interesting because this is where they can really choose the map. They can call what they want to bring to the table and they can try to shake team comps accordingly. Maybe don't go for Orisa Orisa. Maybe try to bring out a new composition or a new sure. map where you can play something like Sigma. If you go, um, no, I can, well, okay, Midtown, that works as well. You can play Roadhog here. And I think Roadhog can get a lot of value, especially with an Orisa on the other side. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think in general, it's really hard to play Hog into Orisa. I think she is just so well, that's much why you play hog around orisa you just don't look oh, at her at all you just get everybody <laughs> that's else hard, that's, that's that's the value so hard to do though i mean that's i don't true. know like, if you're if you're a good orisa player you're so consistently in the face that yeah. there's no chance for the hog to avoid it but uh i don't know aside feels like they are a hog player so considering that they should have the, the work around the positioning two step around and we'll see if they do different to what is going to be map number two it'll be a one Map lead, the favor of CSI. This map, underrated map from May. And we're not seeing her, and it's kind of a bummer, but I think she gets an incredible amount of value here, especially yeah, on that Fist first too. point. Great against Doomfist. She can slow him down the same way those Sim turrets were. She can go for the movement reduction of the wall in, either below the train car or in it as well. You can really box people around with May on this map, and I wish, I, I truly wish we'd get to see more of her, but, you know, to each their own. These players want to stick to what they believe the meta is, and right now, mm -hmm. you know, that is the belief that maybe it can be that Sojourn Reaper. Reaper, one of those characters that just never really goes away. I mean, even if he isn't the yeah meta he's never really a bad pick either yeah just great for up close damage and we look at uh we got doomfist who dives pretty deep look at road who i mean brings the the opponent to you yep makes it easy to splash damage on pretty quickly especially on the attacking side we get excited right back to the doomfist we saw it first moment in map Ooh. number one couldn't quite find the value see if this is a different story yeah sven almost goes down early but almost always not going to cut it you still have the hp on the table the supports can keep you up and running jug goes quick into the back line forces the kiriko out tries to find the suzu catches the headshot kunai for their troubles you don't want to wraith in in that scenario because you cannot tp out mid combat like that the tp animation one of the longest ability animations in the entire game exile loses the turret but it's not a member fallen instead it's the tank from new york tech that bites that bullet first that is a huge stall of what they're trying to do here they're gonna have to find two or three eliminations to win it out but the javelin spin into the corner makes it nowhere to run and nowhere to hide weast goes down but staten island they win that fight through and through i mean that's a prime time example of why she's so annoying yes amen. literally just locked in in timeout. You are going nowhere. You're healing nobody. I'm making sure we clean you up pretty quickly. And also, like, NYT are deep on that left side. I guess it's the fact that Staten Island are holding so far on what is the, the subway station stairs. It makes it pretty difficult to actually be able to get out of this choke. But working so far to the left, they don't really have any, like, oh. presence. Yeah, I like the hog swap here, but running it down through mid is going to be really difficult. The damage collapse from this team is huge. And Jug learning that the hard way has Death Blossom falls at 99%. But... You've got to be in the fight. You've got to farm that old Exile loses their turret. New York Tech feeling good here. They might be able to get through, especially when Weast bites the bullet like that. This is now momentum on the side of New York Tech. The tank is missing. You've got a Molten Core. If you're on the side of Exile, you could use it to stall point. But, of course, you've oh, got to so run nice. the numbers. You've got to run the variables on if that's a good call or not. And it looks like it's going to be. Covers the entire point in the Molten Core, trying to answer out the Katsune and the Valk. Death Blossom in the pocket as well. Poor Jug can't even get to the point. Overclock comes out from Sven. We're going to see a Death Blossom from NYT as well. They're desperate to sink their claws into this point cap. And with all these ultimates, I'm still not sure they're going to be able to do it. They find one with the railgun. Orisa falls, and that has to be it. NYT will crack this egg wide open. Yeah, I like the opportunity for Stan. I like the... Oh, okay. No Boss way. Out. Suzu as well. So Jug can pick up two. Will fall now, but Contessa is going to be there. If they can somehow turn this one, still going to be what is that tank on the point. And obviously spawning significantly closer. I don't know if you are able to pull this one together. Lucio going to stall for time. Ride those walls. Try to avoid the danger. We'll now get caught. Trace, we're oh, moving oh, around. Whole hog oh, activated. We'll send them away into the corner. And finally, we'll flip the point over. There was some pretty deep here. Excites, we are feeling like they've got the opportunity to possibly stagger. Looking for the hook. We'll hook the Reaper. That's that big tank damage down. Excites, we're running these goons out of his territory.
Yeah, this is incredible. I mean, the, the whole hog coming out there was such a massive play. Already 30% to another one. Going all the way into your enemy's spawn, hunting for eliminations. It's not something that we see players do very often, but if it's not broke, you know, there's no need to fix it. This Roadhog, this aggression completely unparalleled right now. Staten Island making a single swamp onto the Tracer, so a lot more close quarters damage, but Tracer very squishy, even squishier than Reaper, who, oh my goodness, Jug literally just cannot play the game right now. Parasaur is going to come up on the top of bridge, trying to clear space and get a hold. Breeze established here for Staten Island. Sysel's picked up one. Is going to throw down what is the bomb, find some damage on it to kill. Hog going to be oh! on their head and hooked well done. and gone. That's... Excited to pick that up. That's what I'm worried about there. That is going to be that Tracer going down early. She gets hooked. That is a guaranteed death sentence. Ult back. New York Tech keeping the lock on this cart here. And like you mentioned, Cat, that ult already in. Zexair's back pocket once again gets Javelin early. That's essentially your oh. go button to pop it if you want yeah, to. Yeah, that's tough. Kitsune's there. They're going to be going in deep. The Death Blossom not going to be needed yet, but Jug falling for the, I think, fifth fight in a row. First person to go down. Here comes Hold Hog reading that gold. A very intelligent play as Orisa has lowered the knockback, so she actually tanks some more bullets from that whole hog, but it's not gonna be enough to take her down. The fight comes to a sloppy close, but NYT making it under the bridge, a place many teams often struggle to get through. Here we go, the aggression starts all over again. Sven finds the noob. Here comes a, a Death Blossom Jug again. As soon as they return, they are taken down in NYT. They pop two ultimates to get it done. Three, including the whole hog, but get it done. They shall, Cat. Only Orisa left standing. She's got nobody to look at. Pops the Terra Surge in a very confusing choice, but the support's there to keep her up and running. They do not want this fight to come to a close. Not yet. And Biox has been doing so much healing in the back line here. No one even considering them. And now we'll start to target in that direction. Forceman and Aqua's doing it. having to play off the trace or moving so fast, trying to step to him consistently. Xyster has hooked and killed the Reaper. Sven's gonna have bioactive backline and still has had the overclock for the entirety of this extended fight. Never used it, never needed it. Now gonna have it to push forward. Trigger discipline goes crazy in a scenario like that. To know you didn't need that ultimate to have it going into this next fight is the opportunity that NYT needs to continue this dominance. Map one was dominant for Staten Island. We wanna see a different story here. Jug 24 HP almost goes down first for the seventh fight in a row, but makes it out by the skin of their teeth. They're back against the wall. They live to tell the tale, and with the overclock in their pocket, something tells me Sven might be ready to get pretty aggressive here in the back line. I'm thinking so. Oh no, instead it's Exile who goes in quickly there. The Death Blossom from Jug is going to be null and void. Oh no, he's trying to run, but he just can't hide! Not the stick! It's a 1-1 one -one trade! <laughs> Bryce Air has gone down. Weast finds the Javelin kill, and even if they do find the Reaper, I think the damage has been done. NYT going to get stalled out and spawn once again. Yeah, a one-to-one -one trade will come through to deny like, any opportunity towards the back of things. Completely reset. Overclock still will be here. The rush will get this massive wall of damage here to come through if they can hold this choke consistently. Rush is going to come in. I'd be sh surprised if we didn't get the wall out. Beetle come through. There's the wall as well. This should be a fight you pick up for Staten Island just spamming through deep. Absolutely. Exiled with a Storm Arrow. Finds New York Tech early on. They try to get them around the corner. I love the Hanzo pick. There's not a lot of places to hide from those straightforward moves like that Storm Arrow. Immortality field down. Staten Island been has too to long. back out. It's still been two logs up. Since There's something to say Hanzo, about, about holding about holding ults. Yeah. Oh, At we're still point, talking. You're, no, you're right. You're second right. one, man. You're right. Yeah, she absolutely would have a second one by now if she popped the first, but just currently a little too afraid. Wants to get the hero play instead of the guaranteed elimination. You found Jug. Use it even more. Now, I mean, take there's, the there's space. so much value to look at. Take the space that's around you, but instead, they're not going to hold on to it even more. This is Rebka's, I think, second Valk in the time yes. Sven has had this one. and this is the second one. Blossom, too. Second everything but Railgun, and that goes to show how well, you I could <laughs> just be using it. You didn't need it, but at this point, it's just kind of boring. You haven't let go of it. Yeah, yeah. Th uh, three game will come with the Blossom, so they're going to find value in that direction. We'll have um, Jug, uh, you know, sometimes the monitor shuts off, unlucky really, so he'll fall away. This might just wrap it up here. Lucio will fall, staggering coming through. Now the overclock online, looking for the squishies deep into things. The battle will survive on just what is the MO, but it's thrown so far away that Exile's got a lot of work to do. And the only player that had the ult to throw it through already threw it, couldn't find the value, couldn't clear the cart. The rest of the team going to have the opportunity to do so. The Hogs fried and gone. Thanks to the likes of Jug, help a Blossom online, and will clear the payload. 
Clearing the payload, a huge moment there. Jug finally getting the chance to play the game, and we can see how important it was to not let Jug do that. The second they get to breathe, the second they get to spread their wings, a majority of New York Tech goes down at their hand. A very strong turnaround there. 23 seconds left, one meter was separating them from all three points, but that one meter could be just enough for Staten Island to stabilize. One fight left, one ultimate in the bank. If they can farm the Kitsune, it'll be huge, right, but as the window space. comes up early, right there goes oh. down, cringe, eliminated as well, and it is just a massacre against New York Tech here in this final oh, fight. No. Sven goes for the back cap, gonna lose the 1v1 as it turns into a 1v4, and New York Tech, they are far too split. Only one second remains on the clock. Nobody there to touch it. 93 meters. Yeah, it's not all three points, but you cannot be upset about that. That was still a very strong performance. Score. Yeah, absolutely, but what was that from Staten Island? A three-minute three hold? Yep. That was a long, long hold to wrap things up. I mean, I'm surprised that NYT doesn't take that all the way through to finish the job and the That's the classic hybrid there. for you. That, that's crazy. I mean, you look at things like uh, third point King's Row, third point Eichenwald. They're, those are usually the points in which a team can stabilize. Uh, I will say three and a half minutes is pretty absurd. I'm, I'm not going to disagree that's with crazy. that. crazy. Yeah, but now a win condition has been set. And honestly, this is my most preferred win condition. The one where it can be really close, but we don't have to go into extra rounds. <laughs> we don't those those are... Yeah, we got 65 eliminations on exactly, the Exactly, exactly. Yeah. We, can, we can keep the momentum rolling in an appropriate manner. So either New York Tech wins this out dominantly early on or Staten Island wins in a 3v2 scenario. Right, sir, going to bring out the Hog on the offense. Now, this can be very difficult simply due to the fact getting through that choke with Roadhog is hard. If there's no shield, if there's no bubble, if there's no javelin to eat things, a lot uh -huh. of damage just gets dumped onto your team right behind you. And often we'll see members other than the Roadhog go down behind him because he, he can't do enough to help them. Well, it's kind of ironic that you talk about the fact that your back line's in trouble. The jump will come through and, oh, man, that's why I never say anything up except at some point. Oh, that's why I, I was going to say, say you know, too, scared, too, scared about the back line. The Winston pick was coming through. He'll target too, directly towards the back line. It'll be the doofus. It's, it's kind of the same thing, though. It's a uh, little bit more damage potential on what is a uh, player that plays pretty similar to Winston. They're going to come side room here very early towards this checkpoint. Taking space quick. The fist going to jump towards that point. Jug will absolutely oh, get annihilated Jug. by the hook from Excise okay. Rare, and that might shut down the look early. Well, I'd be able to get this though. If they can get to the checkpoint, they got an opportunity to, to get some space early. Yeah, if they can find the first tip, they got that fried, be huge. Though. But yeah, they're not going to find it. Gonna get close, <laughs> close, never gonna cut it. Close, but Tough. no cigar indeed. Tough, nearly a minute off the clock. So they really expend a lot of value there in that primary yeah. fight. They're not able to even get 33%. They've burned 25% of their timer and recontesting. I mean, they're way no behind swaps. in the ult charge right now as well. Swaps, no swaps. Jump straight back into this one. Another hook. This time it's the tank and it does not finish the job. We see Suzu is healed and stayed alive. As minutes get to the point, this go around. The road's low. No heal in the pockets right now. But there's another Suzu. Another hook will take away Jug yet again. The main damage dealer close range with the shotties has found nothing into this one either. Yeah, this Reaper, 9 HP on the board there. Bioactive takes them down very quickly in New York Tech. They find an opportunity to strike. Staten Island putting out some damage of their own. Grebka falls. This could be Staten Island's chance on. to win this out. Sven on the rooftops here of the fire truck. Here comes that whole hog. A desperate attempt to just separate the team to clear the point, and they're still not able to do much with it. You got to get somebody out the door, nice and that's a hook. great way to start. A phenomenal hook around the lamppost. Puts down Kiriko. They'll take a breather. Not there for Zaisair to keep themselves up and standing. Nearly half the time bank out. The Kitsune is bold, I'm to say surprised. the least. But as Cringe finds Weast, maybe it's worth it. The rest of the team could be just around the corner. Sven finds the noob, and there's no way New York Tech goes on to stabilize this. Overclock online. Jug is out of here, and I really think they've done it, Cat. I think this could be the opportunity for the restabilization from New York Tech. However, you got to get the tracer down. And if you can't do that, it's going to get you. Two minutes off the clock, two minutes left on it. There it goes the Kiriko nice. again. Rice Air is back, and the stall potential has nearly tripled for the side of New York Tech. Reaper punched off the point, uh, has a TP out. Exiled still up and standing. And Roadhog uses every cooldown he's got. Kiriko back for the third time, falls just as quickly. Roadhog, they finally go down here, and that has to be it. Staten Island finally tapping that first point. That would have been so hard to stabilize looking at what is going to be so many ultimates immediately coming up. The rush, the blossom, like that is, that's a hard task for NYT. Not going to make it happen. Unlucky. Sven is very staggered. My exile goes deep for that one. Able to get away towards safety yet again. So lots of ults that didn't have to get used to take off the NYT defense. That means those are all going to come on their way here early into this one. Weast, who are not blocked, actually able to get away to safety. He has info on where all these players are as well. Pretty deep to the back line. Allows his duels to step in. 
Death, you got the pulse bomb now. The pulse bomb yet. Wow! From 600 HP to zero in a matter of seconds there. Resurrection does come through. Revka rush. has to give their own stock for it. They lose the elimination early on. Weast has fallen. There could be a level of stabilization for New York Tech, but Kat, this reeks of desperation right now. They're so panicked. <laughs> they're just trying to find something, anything to stop this card from rolling, and it's costing them player after player, ultimate after ultimate. Bro, it's incredibly damaging. Bioactive finding two out the gate. New York Tech put so much into that fight, and they gain nothing in return. Yeah, Bio finds two from Bridge, just spamming knives over the top, and then half HP is the road as well. Too loud for Exile to finish. Basically, grabs a three piece to push this cart forward. As there's a shenanigans going down towards the hallway, literally shooting fish in the barrel off of what is the whole hog into the rush in that corner. Jug's gonna try to step oh. in. We'll get absolutely annihilated by likes of Sven, though. Blossom to the back line for AJ, gonna have some significant amounts of damage. The Doom will jump away. The Doom gets out of dodge for just a moment. Staten Island has their ultimates packed in the pocket, but Weast will fall late there in the fight. That'll force a pretty aggressive recontest or a restagger, excuse me, especially as the Noob joins them even later. NYT playing this very smart. You never want to push back out through that choke unless you're chasing an elimination you know you can find. As I say it, they, of course, do exactly that. And I still don't like it. I don't think they're doing it well. Jug going to Wraith in, which is always a dangerous play because you can't get back out with it. Pulse Bomb going to be missed early. There has to be a recontest early. And here's going to be that Kitsune coming out as well. Jug, oh, he popped not it? sure why you would do that at 17 HP, but you've done it. And it's going to hurt your team quite a bit. Javelin catches out Sven. We send back to the spawn room early. And even Lucio with his music can't dance away fast enough. Sven finds That's the three okay. piece and all of a sudden new york tech back on top large and in charge three mm. minutes and 20 seconds left and nyt stabilized can they tie us up one to one on the series nyt gonna assume the defense they've yet again cleared the camp and they'll be looking at the terror surge the overclock going into this next fight only team really with ults sitting in their corner here for this one so they're gonna be feeling good about it early Exiled swapping out of the Echo now, and I really like this swap. Like I said, I believe Echo will be meta sooner or later, and people bringing her out more and more often just proves that point for me. Great at busting down these tanks, melting them quickly. And the two main tanks, Roadhog and Hard Doom, bug. neither of them can do a lot about her, but it's the overclock we need to be keeping an eye on now. Sven brings it out. Can't find a darn tootin' thing with it, but finally, it's that equalizing elimination. Both Reapers have been removed. A slight spawn advantage for Staten Island, I would say, for the time being. The Echo goes deep into the back line with her B. Wants to take Rebka out of the fight, but just can't find it. Nice air has fallen and Sven standing in front Melted. of the window. I'm not sure why you'd do that, to be honest. You just got to get out of the way when they open up that garage door. But hindsight yeah. is 2020 after all. And oh, even this Kiriko, I'm not sure why you'd even Suzu yourself. You're just staggering. And lose some time here to step back in. And that is scary. Two minutes still for Staten Island to work with. Look at a couple extra fights into this one. And they don't have to push all the way either. Just got to get to that final mark here. They get the three. They've wrapped it up. And well, Terrasaur is going to clear. Wow. And last DPS will find the additional. So Staten Island walked through. They've taken mount number two. Additional. Well done, Staten Island. I mean, holy cow. The Echo Swap comes in clutch there. The huge stall coming out out of that Kiriko who just suzued herself and TP'd and did everything except go down to regroup with the team. I really do think that was the nail in the coffin of that final fight as there never was a final fight. Five went down. Kiriko falls 20 seconds later and they have to go in without her. They get smoked for it and Jug for all their efforts. They do get play of the game after all. So, at least you can walk away with that because I will be honest, Midtown, not an easy map for Jug. That was that was a rough one for sure, but hey, they made it work at least enough to walk away with the win. Yeah, at the half, love to see a little, little escort action. Also, uh, nice to see you come through the win condition and just pushing a little farther. Wondering if uh, we were able to see NYT walk the one back from what was uh, a hold that came through for three and a half minutes. That yep. hold would have been four minutes, so a Herculean task to try to look for. We were able to hold it for about two, so a couple of fights it snuck through, but in the end, just old to walk back in. Ah. He's two of their own stall for some time and couldn't do it again. So it'll be the escort into bat number three now, a chance to win here in Grand. The likes of Staten Island, it'll be on Route 66. Yeah, NYIT, they found one Grand Finals victory today. They may, unfortunately, not find another. They're really going to have to turn things around. We need a complete and total reverse sweep on our remaining map types, which is Escort, Route 66, Push. We don't know which one that would be. And then, of course, mm -hmm. Control to wrap things up. And that's always fun to see us go all the way to that map five Control. But we're going to need some really aggressive changes right now. It feels like Staten Island has done their homework. They have done. They know the information they need. And NYIT seems to be lacking that critical information to win these matchups. Going into this cat, this is an hour and ever moment. In the next eight minutes, it they is. need to win this map. The next eight minutes. This could be the last map 
of what is the East Coast Conference Overwatch 2 season. Plus the likes of the Cy Bears have something dominant to say about it. Typically, they're playing together in the lab. Hopefully, they got a second step away from the PCs to band together to discuss how they're going to feel about this one because, and that could be all she wrote. And then not to mention the fact that because it is hybrid. We just got to see a bit of escort and we saw, we saw those old combos come together to wrap the end of what was just our last map. And last map, this could be, you know, that's the scariest thing about this. We might be seeing any kind of 3-0, we could see a 3-1 if New York Tech can really open this up, but Kat, they're still trying the Orisa matchup. And I'm not trying to talk smack on Zeisser here, but Weiss is, is clearly the stronger Orisa. I mean, this is a, a tough situation to be in. All right, Seth ones. Here we go, what could be the final map of the East Coast Conference Overwatch 2 season. It's set to go. We'll get the Arisas on both sides of things. The Cypher has been questionable for sure, but uh, yep. we will see if they can get it going here. Spent not been questionable in any likes on the Sojourn. The only question has been how soon will he drop a player? He'll go oh! to the top ropes early. The headshot is found, but unfortunately the healing is there. Immortality field forced out from Bioactive early on the corner. Oh, and it's the Reaper who is booped out of position, taken down by his counterpart, Jug from Staten Island. This is a critical moment as Staten Island has got the cart moving just a bit here. They've stalled things out early on. It looks like they're gonna go for that restabilization. Only 26 meters. This could essentially be a full hold if they stop it all right here, right now. But for the time being, New York Tech, a 25% of their timer has been burned away. And Sven wants to find something early, wants to put something on the board. This team doing a really good job at not letting him do just that. Put the turret down. Exile is put down oh! the Kiriko. The Reaper will fall as well. And they're looking to clear this out deep to send that cart back in the other direction. Stan's going to be deep into this one. The hold will be strong. We'll get resets and we'll get ults on both sides of the coin here. The noob living up on the high ground. I like it. I assume the intention is to boop somebody down once they go to the high ground and force them into the majority of your team. It could work well. It could be a risk not worth the reward. We're going to have to wait and see. Window goes out early. Amplification Matrix finds a lot of additional damage. Terra Surge comes through, and I don't think that boosts Terra Surge, but honestly, I'm not sure. A lot of things dying that aren't people, but Bioactive will be the first to fall. Rice there gives their life for it. Weast is missing. This is the first time in a long time. Never mind. New York Tech no longer has the lead. Cringe being forced out by Jug into the back line finding some headshots now the lucio chasing them down they can't get the healing in time so has to go up onto the high ground it exiled falls late into the fight new york tech with an incredible spawn advantage should have this fight in the back definitely should sven will be to the front of cart trying to finish lucio booped away though just as a real gun shot goes so isn't gonna nail it we'll take the one on the jug oh. though and now we'll finish off the noob so those last two players going to fall the fight picked up new york tech and they'll start to walk forward though the overclock into this one It'll be the beat from the noob that can tank pretty much the entirety of that overclock. Or you can yep. make sure it uh, doesn't grab multiple targets. The Terra Surge, the Blossom online as well. So Staten Island definitely can step back into this contest and kill it before they get to this first checkpoint. Oh, we see a bit of a panic moment there. Jug in the back line has the beat. Sven is already missing. You don't want to pop the Blossom for the 1v1. Has to Wraith, gets the reload. Cringe taken down by a Railgun headshot. The Reaper not the far off. behind and Exiled doing a very good job here on the Sojourn Swamp. I love to see it. I feel like, you know, we haven't seen it in a little while from Exile, but clearly it's effective. They were trying to give themselves a bit more of a challenge because this Sojourn, she's just a freebie for Staten Island right now. Yeah, firm believer, one of the best ways to beat the Sojourn is to join them. To be the Sojourn, so, amen. Yeah, absolutely. So Exile will do just that. It's got ult charge pretty far up early into this one. will be the Blossom for NYT to go back into this one. Looking at probably Septon's I say confident two fights. Sure. Yeah, uh, comfortable too, if, if they die quickly here in fight number one, but if they elongate this, if they stall it out, that'll be incredibly damaging. This could make this the final fight. They only have the Death Blossom to their name. Valkyrie not far behind. Gets booped oh, away blue. immediately, and Jug, jug in the back, back finds two of his own. Both supports have fallen. That, we needed it to be quick. At least it was. Well, it was They've got right. one more attempt. They should have three ultimates, but this is looking more and more likely to be a New York Tech full hole. Now we're looking at the wall. We're looking at the overclock for Exile to walk into this one. The first chance to look at them on the Sojourn. The first look at them in the ultimate. Exile will step 
into what is going to be the Doom Fist. Exiles already oh. picked up one, though. Shutting this hopes down early. Oh, they no! The side. They boom the Tracer, but she'll recover quickly. It is going to stay alive on the life. Exile will take a second before the window does go down. The Doom Fist fried. Now dead. Gone from this one. The res can't come through. Cringe is instantly gone. So is the Tracer of Sven. And OT will wrap up just as soon as it started. Staten Island roll the defensive hold. I mean... Flawless through and through from Staten Island there. They had the reads, they had the communication, and they had the critical information they needed to for success right there. The formula was clear. 66 meters cap. They hardly made it in front of the gas station somewhere. Many yeah. players can make it within the first minute. That's how dominant that full hold was from Staten Island. And now they are 66 meters away from 3-0-ing the people that 3 0 them in their most previous matchup. New York Tech, down 2-0 in the series. Push the cart to 66 meters. That's tough. The stress defensively. Oh boy, is it ever present. It is, it's beyond present right now, Kat. This is such a tough spot to be in. There's so little they can do. There's no room for error. If they lose mm. the opening fight, they might lose the map. I mean, like, yeah. there, there's going to be one yeah. real fight. If it's fast enough, they get a recontest. Otherwise, this might be a one and done. This might be a yeah. very quick 3-0 victory for Staten Island. And they're trying to make it that. Exiled, phenomenal hit scan player. We've seen it all evening so far. Incredible on the Sojourn. Go Kicked butt of a Torn, which was crazy. Locking the Widowmaker. That is... <laughs> It's a it's a courage choice. You've got to be good yeah. at the collegiate level to make Widow work. And Exile, I've got no doubt in my mind. Yeah, Exile will be on the road, so there's no shield. Exile instantly out of the spawn. Well Has taken, cringe. That's the Kiriko gone. So that's already looked forward. That Doomfist is going to be able to create space for the Widow to try to get these deeper sight lines. I'm nervous early. Spent a night Excite has jugged down the Reaper. Okay. All was well. That first pick had me nervous. New York Tech has answered back with two. Yeah, we got a little nervous, a little scared there, but they answer back. They stabilize early in the cart. Has barely moved, to be honest. Just hardly around that first corner. Yeah. They've got a little bit of time to push it back, and they might try to do so. Exile playing a low ground widow, not something we see every day, but clearly they've proven their worth on these hit scan players. However, Bioactive gonna give us their best cringe impression going down early okay, in okay. the fight. Exile finds Fen, but the hook, like you said, there to catch Weast early on. Anzo with the flank. Oh, they both whiff their headshots, oh. and neither of them can find it. Zaysair finds Jug. This Hanzo 10 HP he has to get out of dodge, and still can't find the body shot on that secondary attempt. Not what you want to see, Cap, but you didn't go down either, so honestly, not a huge loss. Sure. Would not be shocked duel. to see the swap soon-ish. I mean, you got time. Thanks to them not having to be too far moving forward. And this one, Arisa back online for Weiss. That is what we've seen them on all series. They've headed back to it, and they're going to take space early. Excites here at push back, where it does pick up the Lucio. Sven's picked up Judge in addition. Push so far back, though. Space going to be out for Staten Island before they eventually get wiped. Get wiped, Staten Island. They're only 20-something meters away from being able to win out this map. But with two and a half minutes left on the clock, you think their odds are pretty likely, especially as yeah. Exiled swaps over to that Echo. This is a very comfortable pick. However, Hanzo casts, so they're going to be pretty good at clipping your wings if you let them. So Exiled going to have to give us kind of their best King's Row Farah impression right now, applying a lot of classic corners, a lot of traditional angles, and not letting yourself get picked out early. The beam is there, the Suzu, to keep that Roadhog up and running. Exiled commits everything they have, but there it is. That's what I'm worried about. Sven takes him down to the blink of an eye. Dragons come out late, and they're not going to be eaten. Weast is missing. New York Tech should have another fight win in the bag. Oh, but Jug, the oh. hero play! By two of their own, one of them being the Baptiste Immortality Field off the table. No healing in the back no line. The Roadhog can't survive it. The Flashbang gets him out, and they have to use Wraith Form to survive. If the Roadhog goes down, they can flip it, and down he shall fall like a giant. He shall hit the ground of Route 66 in Staten Island. Cat, I hate to say it, but I believe they have done it. Flashbang comes out too a little too late, and with a phenomenal sneaky death blossom, Staten Island will win the series 3 2 0. Incredibly well done. Ah, uh, Jug just sneak. Deep there, I do wonder. Nah, I was hoping maybe we play just because it's that game-winning moment, but not quite. How to play the game last map? We we can only give so many out. You know what I mean? Absolutely. It's still massive. I mean, Jug sharing this play of the game picked up two with an additional blossom earlier on on the defensive end of things. So we still get to see the good looks that come through from there. In addition to the tank of Weiss, who had so much value on the Arisa, went back to it.
absolutely decimated the hope for excise rare to be hooking that lucio on what is the roadhog shuts him down pushes so much farther forward and man well they overcome their demons gotta say it overcame the demons man roll them 3-0 overcame their demons they kicked the snot out of their <laughs> demons out there that was incredible i mean so well done from staten island i knew they were a good team going into this one of the best in the league you don't make it to grand finals on accident right and they, right? they proved their worth weight and gold there we're gonna throw it to a quick break folks we're gonna try to get an interview with somebody from staten island we'll be right back with some more overwatch 2 content in just a couple of minutes
What is going on, everybody? And welcome back just one more time here tonight. Septilence and Catinator. We are joined by the killer Kiriko themselves. Bioactive, a phenomenal support player to guarantee Staten Island their 3-0 victory here tonight. So, Bioactive, my question for you is you guys, other than the Torbjorn, you guys ran pretty much meta the entire evening. I don't think you did anything particularly off kilter. Is that intentional? Do you feel like this is a good meta for you? And or is that something we can expect to see going into the next season as well? We've been we've been practicing a lot on meta and we've been practicing on like the hero pool for us. So we're basically yeah. we're implementing meta and also like our comfort pick into our comps. So that's what it led up to basically these bizarre comps, but they actually work together really well. Like right. the I, like you said, the Torbjorn was actually like a good pick because we all play together and we all stick together on that corner. So basically we got all the value we could from the Torbjorn actually. Definitely. For sure. Mm. For sure. I, I of course I have a real question for you, but before that, <gasps> oh, I thought you were judging my question. Kick Never collections mind. in the bag, right? Can I can I see your favorite pair of kick? Uh it's gonna be the the third one. The blue one. It's right here. It actually I cannot turn on my lights, but <laughs> hold on, let me set <laughs> let me set up. Wait, I just realized him and I have the same microphone. Oh, you have the quack costume? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do. Let's, let's get a like. Let's go. Everyone's thinking like. So you said that you said the third one from from the left or the right? Yeah, this one. The fourth of the that one. That oh, one. Nice. Okay. Because okay. I was I'm actually fun it. building it. Yeah, it was really fun building it. Oh, oh I literally didn't even them? think about the fact I you, just, like, you had to build figures. those. Yeah. No, no, they're That's... actually pre-built. They come in small pieces, Dang. and you have to build them all together. It's really like it's it's a little annoying, but. <laughs> it actually become a habit, you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. Absolutely. A man of many talents. And speaking of talent, the roster looked good today. And you guys originally, right, have played this school before, got swept 3 0, today swept 3 0. What is that like going into this matchup, knowing that they beat you guys before? And how do you overcome that to win out tonight? Everybody was actually putting a lot of effort in practice. Like, we actually dedicated so much practice prior to this match and also prior to all the matches. So we improved a lot through the season. We started up, like, actually not, like, because we pretty much didn't know each other at the beginning. So we started up, like, right. trying to play together, like, trying to figure out each other play style, all that stuff. And as soon as we started to caught up with that, we actually pulled out a lot of value as a team. We grew up so fast. Like, everybody played really well. Shane was actually playing really well. Everybody was playing well. Even Jug, Excel, even Noob, mm -hmm. everybody was sticking to their like to their role correctly this game, and everybody played it perfectly. Yeah, that's why we actually like we evolved as a team. We actually yeah. played better by moving together as a team. Definitely, mm -hmm. definitely. So one more quick question for you, and then we'll let you hit the road and celebrate with the team a little bit. This is a huge <laughs> accomplishment. Uh, is there anybody you'd just like to give a thank you or a shout out to while you're here with us? Well, uh, of course, I'm going to thank my team, of course, because they played really well today, actually. They all actually stick to what I, what I said about everything since I was their coach and also their captain, and everybody started to play really well. And, of course, Alberto for bringing us all here, and Medina for also making us able to, you know, stream the other games because we had a yeah. lot of games through the season, and he was able to stream it. So, yeah, everybody yeah, actually did amazing, to be honest. You Thank love you so much for having it. me, guys. Of course. Thank you for joining us. And again, a huge congratulations on your grand finals victory. Thank you. <laughs> and with that, folks, we are unfortunately going to have to get ready to call it a night here. Tomorrow, we do have a little bit more ECC. It'll be the All Rocket League finals. And it's pretty exciting. Farmingdale versus Staten Island, again, who we just mm -hmm. got the chance to see. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. the fun fact that our professor, the professor Layton, our producer, gave us is whichever team wins this, we're the only team to have two trophies here in these grand finals. So both these teams, one trophy from different games respectively, uh, Overwatch, clearly. And then I don't know what the other one is, but Farmingdale's got something under their belt. That'll be super cool, guys. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and check that out. A big shout out to our producer, Layton, in the back line for making everything possible. Our observer, Cool Scoots, for observing that entire game of Overwatch. And of course, both teams are coming out. We love each and every one of you. Check your posture, drink some water, and we'll ECC you tomorrow for some more Rocket League.